Well, good evening, Tiger Sports fans. Tonight, here on Tiger Sports Live, it's round three of the OHSAA football playoffs. The Liberty Center Tigers will take on the Oak Harbor Rockets. Here from Clay Memorial Stadium, the home of the Clay Eagles, I'm your host, Mark the Captain Blood. Tonight on the call, Spike Whitman, as always, with Scott Barrett on the analyzation, Diamond Danny Kessler on the camera, and Cole Boom Boom Ballman on the controls and the boss man tonight. Well, as always, folks, we start our week off uh, talking, sitting down and talking with Coach M Casey Moeller about the uh, previous game and then the outlook for this game with the tough Oak Harbor Rockets. So let's go to that interview, and we'll be back with our Swanton Welding pregame right after this. Healthy Tiger Sports Live welcomes in Coach for a regional semifinal interview and coach this is going to be a football game not that you haven't played some good games this season but you know, we were talking a little bit off air this Oak Harbor team has a great culture um, they've won a lot of football games over the last 45 50 years I mean this is a program that looks pretty similar to us in the fact that they had uh, you know Hall of Fame old school coach that had been there through 2007 won a lot of games and then their, their new head coach now, Mike May, who has been there 16 years, just picked up where he left off. Talk a little bit about broadly what you understand and know about the culture of Oak Harbor. You have played Oak Harbor in a recent playoff run. They are 12-0. and Statistically, they look a little bit like us, Casey. I mean, they like to play defense. They've given up, what, 89 points in 12 games. This looks like a program that you have you've built here and you took over for Rex. They look very similar. Talk about it a little bit. Well, I think it's it's like looking in the mirror a little bit. Yeah. Now, schematically, they they do some different things defensively than what we do, and offensively, formationally, they're a little bit different. But uh, philosophically, they want to run the ball between the tackles, mm -hmm. and they've got a, a really good group of running backs. They're not like a one-man uh, show. They've got really good running backs that are hammers. They're going to get north and south. They're going to run, uh, be physical. Um Offensive line gets off the ball, and they get on you and move you. Um, the quarterback is very efficient. Uh, they don't you know, push the ball down the field a whole lot, but they've got a really dynamic athlete on the edge, um, the Hayward kid, who they get the ball in space, and he's tough. He's, he's a big play threat anytime he touches the ball. So they're looking to run the ball between the tackles and then get the ball to the Hayward kid out on the perimeter in one-on-one -on -one situations, and he's been very successful. So offensively, they're, they're a, a big challenge, and they change formations and personnel, but the bottom line is they're going to come off the ball and, and they're going to try to punch you in the mouth a little bit and then you know get the ball out in space early uh, and get the Hayward kid going. Um, and then defensively, they just run to the ball well, and they've got big, strong, tough kids uh, that like to hit, you know, they remind me a lot of our defense that, you know, uh, they, they run a four man front for the most part, but you know, they want to get after it and punch you in the mouth. It's interesting when you watch them on film a little bit, and you know, you, it's been week after week after week where it's been very quarterback heavy, very spread heavy, very, you know, um, identify athletes and you've had to do those things and you've neutralized kids in space all year long, quite frankly, this team wants to get in the middle of the ring and fight you a little bit. And I think that, again, has a lot to do with the cultures of the program. That's why they've been successful. They like to run. They Defensively, they're just very, very good, all three levels. So this Oak Harbor team, does it, when you look at the film and you remember the Archibald game, PH game, Napoleon game, some of your better games, this has got to be probably the, the alpha game of the schedule. Yeah, they're, they're probably, you know, the best team we're going to have played all year. Remind me a lot of Archibald. I, I would compare them – very heavily to Archibald, um, <clears throat> but a little bit different as well. They're they're more downhill running, um, pass second, whereas Archibald was more pass first. But definitely schematically look like them. Um, and here I think what separates Oak Harbor from you know Archibald PH is Oak Harbor has a lot of depth. Yes, they've got two or three running backs that they'll trot out. Um, they've got several they got three four wide receivers they'll put out there kind of like a patrick henry wasian type you know depth there um but even at the linebacker spots on defense the the secondary spots on defense they've got five six guys that they're willing to put out there and just say you know these guys can play so the depth is um you know something we haven't seen and, and 
you know, we'll see if we can handle that. Well, that's something you've really enjoyed all year long has been depth. And since you've been in the program, there's been depth for you to, you know, to sub and give guys breaks on certain series. And I think O'Carver brings that. I, I guess what struck me, and we talked about it off air a little bit, was their physicality. And you've, you've touched upon it. But when you're getting physicality on both sides of the ball, this really – I don't know that our kids have felt that kind of – I think they invited. I think Liberty Center wants that kind of game. I, I think that they are built for it. But when you have not seen it, um, this Oak Harbor team likes to hit. They like to play line of scrimmage, front seven football. And I, I don't talk about is, is their offensive line more, more um, uh, physical than their defensive line? Because I know in their defense, Oak Harbor's linebackers, you know, you, you watch the film. They're really good tacklers. They're really good run fillers. They do a great job on their run fits. And talk about Oak Harbor's offensive line. Just would you break that down a little bit? Because I think, I don't know if we've seen an offensive line as active and as physical. Well, you know, it's not going to be the biggest offensive line we've seen. Right. But right. they get on you, uh, and, and they like to double-team the point of attack and move people and then climb up to level two. Um, and, and they finish blocks. That's probably the biggest thing is they're finishing blocks. So, um you know, when the whistle blows, they're going to finish their block. They're not going to. Who's that sound like? <laughs> well, I, I did have somebody tell me, you know, it's like looking in a mirror. They're going to get, you know, post whistle, which, you know, that's the way we, we think if you want to be successful, you got to play to the whistle. And, and, and they're doing that. And that's why they're 12 and 0. So um, that probably is what sets them apart from a lot of teams we've played is just, you know, four to six, A to B, they're going. Mm -hmm. Um and, and they played well together as a unit, too. And then, you know, you can be physical on the line, and I think most people say our line is physical, but their running backs are physical as well, and they're they're looking to punish people that try to tackle them. So that's something, you know, we haven't seen a lot of, but uh, we're going to have to contend with Friday. So physical offensive line, backs that love to run people over and be physical, run inside. Again, it, you know, you say that, you don't overuse it. That is like looking in a mirror. When I watch this team on film, I don't think that they look like us, but I think they are like a, a lot like us. And talk a little bit about, you know, you talked about, we talked about off, off air a little bit about Oak, Oak Harbor's program. I mean, when you've had a legendary coach from 79 to 2007 win 250, 60 some games and, and take you deep in the playoffs and multiple championships. And then, you know, we talked about Mike getting in there, Mike, Coach Mike May. You know, you have 45 years of established culture. And a lot of continuity in the coaching staffs. Again, a lot like what Liberty Center looks like. When you're coaching against that kind of legacy program, and Oak Harbor is a football school. They they travel well. Their fans know it. They pack stadiums. I think this week at Clay, you're going to see a lot of people watching a great football game. Talk about the, the lasting impact, the imprint, the culture that leaves in that locker room when you've got 45 years of sustained success. Well, I think when you when you have somebody that's come in and established a program and a culture, you know, it becomes what's expected. And 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 that's really the legacy is do you do that year in and year out? And I think that's kind of what Oak Harbor has. Uh Mike May has come in and, and just kind of picked up where Gary Quizno left off where, you know, this is the brand of football we're gonna play. And it really doesn't matter if you're in shotgun or under center. You know, if you're physical, you're physical and that's the brand they play defensively. You know, you're gonna they're gonna run to the ball, be physical, get after it. Um, so that continuity has been there for, like you said, 40 plus years. That's all those kids know. And and yeah, they may have a down year here and there, but more often than not, they're gonna be successful because they know the culture. And sometimes maybe they get some young kids that take their lumps, but by the time they're seniors, they're they're standouts and they're winning league titles and things like that. So those are the teams that are playing in week 13, week yeah. 14, and so on. So I think every school has a run where they have a really good class and they might win for a year. But it's those those programs that year in and year out are consistently competing for titles are the ones that, you know, you try to emulate the most and they're going to give you the most problems. So let's just, let's just check the boxes. Cultured program, been good for a long time. A good uh, young coach comes in after a legend. They want to be physical. They like to play at the line of scrimmage. They've got physical backs that want to run inside. This looks like a team. I mean, how do you look? When you look at a team like this and you feel like this is this is something we haven't seen all year, I know you're concerned about weapons and their running game and the way they block, but do you feel like because your kids have been in a lot of games, unfortunately, have, that have not been to the level of intensity that you're about to see, 
I think they want this game. I think this is an exciting game for them when they watch the film on Sunday and or Saturday morning, and you're like, yeah, we, we get a chance to play. I think that's what this team thinks. Like, we're going to get a chance to play Oak Harbor. No well, fear in this game. Well, I think, you know, that's one of the things we talk about is how good can we be as a team. This week is a huge opportunity for us to find out how good are we, how good can we be, how physical can we be, um, and because it's going to be a four-quarter game, and, you know, they're going to come out and punch us in the face, and I think our kids, are, you know, metaphorically speaking, are going to punch them in the face, and it's going to be a slugfest, and I think whatever team kind of wears out or flinches first is going to be at the disadvantage. So we got to make sure that we're resilient when they come out and hit us, and we got to respond likewise um, and, and really set a tone that we're not going to back down um, and, and we're going to play hard for 48 minutes um, because I, I – would imagine that's what they're going to do. Uh, they've done it all year, so it's it's going to be it's going to be a battle for sure. You know, I, I was at uh, some girls scrimmage just last weekend up at Start, and you know, old football players jibber jabbing together. I walked by Tim Keller, who was a legendary linebacker and center in the program, and he's like, "Bucky, you know, have they really played anybody?" And I'm like, "You know, have we?" And he goes, "Good point. I think <laughs> we've both played teams, and we've both had to stand up and and." But really, the schedule for both teams has not been as rigorous, maybe, as what we had hoped or anticipated. You know, um, where does that play into your mindset in terms of like preparation and knowing that you've been through a lot of games, which you really had a lot of success and, and maybe more success than you, you thought you might have? Well, it's kind of the million dollar question you're asking yourself after you have some running clock games. You know, are we really this good, or is maybe that team yeah. not as good as we thought? Um, but Oak Harbor's kind of in the same situation. And when you really look at the end of the year and you look at records and you see how other teams compete against each other, you know, maybe they were pretty good teams and we played really well in those games. Um, that's what you're hoping for. And that's why this game is such a great opportunity to find out, you know, how good are we? You know, if we're as good as what we think we, we are or we can be, you know, this is a game that's going to show us. And, um, you know, that's why you play the game. You never know. Um, it's tough to compare scores. We, you know, Otsego would be like a – um, a similar opponent that we've both played, um, and I don't know that you can really tell. You know, we played them week three, and they've played them week seven and week eleven, um, whenever it is, because teams change so much throughout the year. They do. Just comparing scores is is you might get a little glimpse of things, but it, it doesn't really tell the whole story. Well, it's going to be very difficult for our fan base and and everybody else who hasn't got a chance to see a great game like this. It's been a while for us, but. Coach, this week, Friday, at Clay High School, we're looking to get another chance to play in a regional final. Um, anxious to play a great football team. Wish you a lot of luck. This is going to be a great football game Friday night. Thanks, and we're just going to go out and do our best, and uh, we're going to be patient. You know, nothing's going to come easy for us, and I think our kids know that. So we've we got to grind away and, and hopefully, you know, come out with a win. Our fan bases are going to get excited because they're – Playing each other looks like two teams that are in the, look in the mirror a little bit this week. Oak Harbor Liberty Center. We'll see you Friday. We're back and welcome to the Swanton Welding pregame show. Once again, it's round three of the OHSA playoffs from Clay Memorial Stadium. I'm your host, Mark Get the Bly. Spike Whitman on the call tonight with Scott Barrett on the color. And guys, I'm excited. All right, yeah. Yeah, it's down there where it starts to really uh, take effect in the Closing comments made by Casey Moeller. He said, you get to this point and you find out how really good you are because both teams can look back at their schedule and say, well, just how good were they? How good are we? All right. Welcome, everybody around Liberty Center who opted to stay home or can't get out. And, of course, to the thousands of you all over the nation and uh, Foreign lands as well, yes. <laughs> We've got them from uh, all over. Anyway, good evening, everybody, and this pr uh, promises to be one of them lockdown matchups. Just quickly, Liberty Center uh, in the first half when their varsity plays the whole time, they are averaging 35 points, giving up two. Oak Harbor averaging uh, 31 points a game, giving up three. So, that alone says this is going to be a Cracker Jack. Well, bottom line, you're seeing a football team. This is going to be the first, what I would call Donnybrook, or real battle a spike that we have seen in quite some time. And I think that first couple series against Wasion where they really focused against our run and dedicated maybe, you know, eight, nine, ten guys against the run at the line of scrimmage, we saw Liberty Center 
stutter a little bit, had to had to punt the football a little bit. I'm going to tell you right now, this uh, this uh, Oak Harbor team is ready to go, 12-0. and 0, And a couple things that struck me, Spike, and I know that you've looked this up yourself, but Oak Harbor is a football community. Culturally, they have won a lot of games. They're winning at a 72% clip over the last 45 years, meaning they have won a lot of football games, a lot of Sandusky Bay Conference titles. Uh, Mike May is in the 16th season. He is 56 and 17 in the last five years. And his uh, 2019 team spike, you know, they were on the cusp of beating Kirkland, and Kirkland won the state championship that year in Division Five. What I'm saying is, this is culture. Their community is football. They are physical, and this is something they're all in on. I think that sounds a little bit like Liberty Center. It sounds a whole heck of a lot like Liberty Center. Yeah, the Tigers. Uh course i don't have all these stats on uh, at my fingertips but yeah it's been great football here for the last 35 years uh, now opponent wise liberty center's uh, opponents uh they have a record of a right around 500 66 and 67 if there is an edge liberty center schedule might be a little tougher oak harbor uh, there, <clears throat> theirs uh, comes in. Let's see, at uh, 46 and 81, their opponents only won 36 percent of their games. Now, Scott, you played enough football. You know that when we get to a point like this in the season, third week of the playoffs, a lot of that trash a lot of that stuff that happened in the past is exactly that well i've looked at it a little bit and i I agree with you spike i looked at liberty center winning almost 50 percent of you know they're the teams that they've played have won 50 percent of their games the team that oak harbor and the schedule they played their teams only won 30 you know what i started looking at that going does that make any sense to me because it's liberty center oak harbor and all right. they really care about is this football game. They've had an entire exactly. week to prepare. If you sat down and broke down film like Casey and, and Ryan Miller and Nick Miller, I know I did this week, all I'm thinking about if I'm at Casey Moeller is how can Oak Harbor hurt me? And they can hurt you in a lot of different ways, Spike. A couple of players I think we need to talk about a little bit. Number seven, Ja'Kai, Ja'Kai Hayward is a five foot 10, 170-pound senior, is a, is a dynamic offensive weapon. He is a 4-5-40 guy. They line him up. Anywhere from the backfield to the slot to the X, which is the receiver on the strong side, all the way to the numbers. This guy can really run, and if we don't contain this guy, he can go the distance. Carson Ridner, he is back, number five, a 5'11", 185-pound junior running back. He's been injured all year. He is their leading rusher, physical, inside runner, a guy that loves contact. Again, a little bit like the you know Colton Cruz and Trenton Cruz. He looks a lot like them. He, he runs a lot like them, real physical. Their quarterback, you know, Michael Lalonde, does a great job of running a very conservative and patient offense. And, Spike, you mentioned it. That's what Casey talked about. We're going to be patient. We're going to execute our game plan. We're going to get a good look at how Oak Harbor responds to the way we want to run the football. But I'm telling you, Oak Harbor looks a lot like Liberty Center. So back to your initial commentary about schedule strengths. That means absolutely nothing tonight. Two, that, tw- two 12-0 undefeated teams, number one and number four in the region. This is rock and roll tonight. All right, yeah. Now, on the other hand, Liberty Center. You know, we've got a pair of running backs. We'll oh, yeah. start with them. Uh, Colton averaging 12 and Trent averaging uh, 10.5 yards a carry. That is unheard of. Big time. And then, and then you've got Rents coming off the bench, 10.5. Moeller, 8.5. Chambers from his wing back position, picking up eight yards of carry. So that's some pretty daunting uh, stats. Now, where does that start? The offensive line. Oh, yeah. Scott, tell us, go, go with our offensive lines and some of the different uh, combinations. Well, we've talked a lot about our offensive line all year long, and we've got great offensive weaponry. I mean, we've got great running backs. We've got really good wide receivers and a senior quarterback. But it starts... All up front, number 75, Landon Bachelman, has been absolutely dominating at left tackle all year long. We've gotten tremendous play by number 71, a 5'11", 220-pound junior. Clayton Seal at center spike has had an all-league kind of year. We've got 
number 70, who has been one of the best guards we've ever had in the history of the program, and Seth Navarre, athletic, and he has played really well the last two or three weeks. You have seen that. Our guard play with Tyler Lay and Steven Brogan has been top end. We're getting great play from Brady Giesge, and we're really getting big-time reps from a sophomore. Hunter Spangler has been as good as it got at tackle. He's a sophomore, so... You know, we talk about Oak Harbor having some depth, and they do, but Liberty Center will bring depth, experience, and high IQ on that offensive line. It has been firing on all cylinders all season long. Now, we'll go to the uh, aerial game, and of course... We all know that Liberty Center runs the football first, second, and third. Wait, wait, hold. We run the football at Liberty Center? I thought yeah. we were a spread team. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, the old uh, wing <laughs> T formation. It's about uh, 92 years old, but it's done to uh, perfection here in Tigerland. Now, receiving, I think this is worth mentioning every week. We don't have a handful of receivers averaging six yards a catch coming out of the backfield. Listen to these numbers. Chambers is a wingback, averaging 17. Trent, out of the backfield, averaging 17 yards a catch. Landon, from his wideout, averaging 16. Uh, Brooks Bainfelt, tight end, averaging nearly 15 yards a catch. Aiden Talent, 11. Zach Weaver, 10. Now, these guys, these guys, it's all for them, whether it's running the ball, receiving passes, it's yards after the catch. Well, I will say this. It all starts with the trigger man, and I think that Landon Amstutz has been exactly what this team needs. With the elite offensive line play that we've had all year long, we've been able to have a quarterback to manage games, not make mistakes, and Landon does not make mistakes. Outside of Evergreen, I don't think that guy's thrown an interception, you know, two or three all season long. So here's a guy that's running an offense that's very run uh, heavy. I think we're running the football around 71% of the time. And what that ends up doing is defenses then begin to really overplay the run. And when you start overplaying the run against Casey Moeller as a play caller, that opens up a lot of wide open receivers. You talk about yards after catch, and you're right. That's really happening in our running game. Our wide receiver spike have been running free. You have Colton Chambers running free. He is a great route runner. So is Landon Cruz. He does a great job. Grady Miller has been fantastic. And we're getting a great contribution from Aiden Talent. And you mentioned it earlier. A guy that hasn't called out a pass is Brooks Bainfeld. He's been become a great pass catcher. I, oh, said, yeah. last, I said last week at the end of the, the game, I've given it a lot of thought. One of the most diverse offensive weapons in the modern day Wing T with the Rex Linger and Casey Muller regime. I'll tell you what, Colton Chambers is as good as it gets. The guy blocks. He's an outstanding runner, probably a starting halfback for most of the teams in the region. But what he really does is catch the football. I have not seen a wing back in Liberty Center's history that catches the ball like Colton Chambers. Yep, absolutely. He's your ultimate warrior oh, he really on is. the football field. Now, defensively, where Liberty Center has really shined, you've got that... Uh, Front three with Zyder, Bachelman, and Navarre, and they'll line up in all kinds of combinations. But, Scott, we've got a lot more. This is a multifaceted, multi-talented, multi-numbered defensive line. No, you know what you're going to get every night with Landon Bachelman, all Ohio snaps. You know what you're going to get with Seth Navarre, another all Ohio player. But the player on the defensive line that has been outstanding all season from the first scrimmage to the last snap, I tell you, we've gotten great play at number 33, Xander Zyder. He has had a big-time season, I think, last week. Nine tackles from the defensive line position. I'm telling you, the Bachelman's dominance and, and Seth Navarre's ability, you've got a lot to think about as an opposing offensive coordinator. But you know what? It's been very difficult to block, block all three. And we're also getting really nice play from a sub. You know, we're getting some nice sub play from different players like Spangler. He's been very good for us. There is a number of players that back this first group up that have been yep. very good. Noah Jensen's been outstanding as well. Yep, Goose Gizaki and also among that. The Goose. The yeah, Goose is love. loose. Yeah. Now, linebackers, they don't get no better than this, Tiger fans. Trent Cruz, Colton Cruz on the outside. Waylon Rents, the middle linebacker. Waylon is second on the team in total tackles. Uh, individual tackles, that's really a, a blaster there with these guys. Uh, you also have uh, Steve Brogan playing a lot of linebacker in different sets. Uh, the snipers, Colton Chambers and uh, Thomas Moeller, 
Also, Brooks Bainfeld, Max Weaver as a sophomore get some action. Those guys have to be able to do everything. They have to pass, defend, downfield. They have to get up, support the run, make hits. Really a rugged position. Then, of course, the greatest uh, defensive backs of all, uh, Landon Cruz in the middle, and then Grady Miller and Cam Colley at uh, corners. All right, guys, we're uh, about ready to get to the national anthem here, and uh, we uh, thank you for uh, tuning in during the Swanton Welding pregame show. Folks, we're about ready for the national anthem and kickoff here from Clay Memorial Stadium, the home of the Clay Eagles. So both bands now uh, taking the field, and I believe they'll play the national anthem together. All right, we're going to switch over to our field microphone for the National Anthem, and we'll be back right after this. back here. Scott, I, we talked a little bit just before we went off the air for the National Anthem. Liberty Center I think lost the toss. I think Oak Harbor deferred and Liberty will receive to start the, to start the, the football game and I know Casey likes to defer Spike. He likes to, to maybe go on defense to start, but I'll tell you what, tonight Liberty Center will start on offense and one thing I looked at when I watched Oak Harbor play, they are running a 4-4, kind of a stack 4-4 when you have four down linemen they don't cover the center a whole lot. Sometimes they do. But then you got four linebackers right behind them, kind of in between, playing those ABC gaps. And I'll tell you what, Oak Harbor's linebackers run to the football really well. They're very athletic back there. And their defensive line has been very good all year, highlighted by a couple players. I've been very impressed with number 76, Caleb Wool. Caleb Wood, a 5'10", 300-pound senior. He plays that kind of shaded nose tackle uh, nose guard position, a tough guy to move, but their linebackers are very good, probably led by a, a player that has one of their top players in this in this program right now is Carson Ridner, and he is a middle linebacker, five foot ten, hundred eighty five pound player, really good looking tackler. They've got a couple of guys spike on defense that really run to the football and really create havoc for uh, defenses and offenses. So I've been impressed with with how they play defense. 
I don't think it's talked about enough. They got a lot of offensive weapons, but Oak Harbor on defense, really good football team. Number 44, Jacob Ridner, probably their net best defender, all Ohio linebacker. So you've got some all Ohio players, you've got some veteran players, and a defense that only gives up about seven points a game. So Liberty's offense will be tested early here. Are they that good? Do we even have a chance? I don't know, Should man. Should we even be on the same field with them? I don't know. I'm just them, trying what? to give you a balanced analysis, <laughs> man. I'm telling you. This All right. Well, it's a chess match. We'll see what the Tiger coaching staff will do to meet these uh, defensive challenges of that stacked uh, eight men up in the so-called box. I'm sure we'll see some play action uh, here and there. Well, we saw a little bit. We've, we've seen in weeks past where teams really focus on the run, and they will put eight and nine and sometimes that safety in the box within eight yards to try to stop this running attack. But the minute you start sneaking safeties into the box, Spike, let's with Liberty Center and Casey Muller do some of their great work on their, their play action pass. So Oak Harbor, a well-coached football team. They have been here. This is going to be a big-time matchup against two big-time football programs. All right, here we go. Set to kick off. Moeller and Collie Deep. Shorter kick, end over end. That's going to come down at the 15-yard line. Return straight ahead. A little bit of running room. Still pounding and battling his way up to the 35-yard line. Good return. Liberty with uh, that so or that uh, good field position. I tell you what, we've had a lot of good play by number seven, Cam Colley, explosive in special teams, both punt returning and kickoff returning. He's had a great year for Liberty Center in special teams, Cam Colley. All right, so first and 10 from their own 37-yard line. We're just underway in the regional semifinals here at beautiful Clay High School Stadium. Amstutz comes out under center, wing left set, with Chambers, give to the second back. No, play action, has a man out there. What oh, a catch. What a wow. catch. That was uh, Landon Cruz went up, took it away from the defender. Da -da -da, da -da -da. What a catch, man. I tell you, that cornerback was running step for step. It was a great throw by Landon Amstutz, but what a tremendous effort by Landon Cruz. Like you said early on, play action pass. Wow. All right. From the 35 to the 35, gain of 30 yards. Now a double wing set. They're going to give it to uh, Colton Cruz. Kicks outside. Grabbed right there after about two yards down to the 33. Liberty Center coming right out, getting down the field vertical in a play action pass, doing a really good job. Very impressive play call by Casey Moeller to get this ball on this field turn right away. Uh, uh, we, we looked, we thought we'd run, see a 4-4 tonight from Otto, uh, from uh, Oak Harbor tonight, but they're running a 5-3, a little bit similar to us. Two stand-up defensive ends, and they're covering the center right now. So I think Liberty Center's inside run game has got Oak Harbor thinking about a few things tonight. Okay. Amstutz comes up under center again. The Twins in the backfield. Motion coming this way. Give to the second back. Left side. Look for a seat. Pound through there. He breaks a wide open. He's at the 10 to 5. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm telling you. On the fourth play from scrimmage, a 33-yard touchdown jar right up the gut. Right up the Liberty Center Tiger, the Oak Harbor gut. Well, we talked about it. I think that's why we're seeing... A little bit more odd front defense with a no, with the nose guard is, is over the center to try to combat some of that trapping right up the middle zero uh -oh. one trap to Trenton Crew. Now I think we've got a post post whistle flag or a behind the scenes flag. You could see a Liberty Center player. There was there was definitely some uh, little post game mix up with Tyler Lay and number seventy six Caleb Wood. Tyler. Lay with a great block on that 0-1 trap, but I think a little bit of rough stuff there. Officials are going to get a hold of this game early and make sure they keep it tight, but great blocking up front by the guards. Excellent block point of attack by Clayton Seal. That 0-1 trap spike wow. worked like a charm. All right, so the Tigers line up to go for the point after touchdown kick with Ian Rosebrook. Good snap, good hold, Amstutz. Kick on the way. Right down the heart of the plate and a swing and a miss what, by Oak, Oak Harbor. Impressive. First 
couple of plays, man. Casey calls a play action pass and an incredible catch by Landon Cruz. A little, little bit of play and off tackle for three yards, and then there you go, 0 1 trap. Number five, Trenton Cruz explodes in the A gap, and once he got to the second level, Spike, it was adios, yeah, amigos, that's man. That's when you, yeah, when you put everybody up. That's what can happen. Yeah, that How many times have we ran that trap play? Oh, that oh yeah, we two hundred and thirty-one. I don't times? know. <laughs> you better keep in track. But I'll tell you, I was a six, a, just okay. six. <laughs> I think Rex Lingren loved the zero-one trap as much as he loved the, the four-five power. But that zero-one trap was impressive. Now, this penalty will be assessed against Liberty Center on the kickoff. That's going to give Oak Harbor very good field position. We'll be kicking off from our twenty-five and a player to watch. We talked about him, Jakai. He is a great player. They're probably their best athlete. Number seven, Jakai Hayward is back to receive this thing. And watch out. We better get him to the they ground. They are respecting Max Walker's uh, leg here. They're lining up at the 20, allowing for his 55-yard per kickoff average. And he delivers a low, bounding line drive, takes several hops, Whoa. picks around, finally picked up at the 25, tries to cut outside, and this margarino, they dwelled and delved and pounded him backwards. What a return, a stop of a return by the Tigers. Tyler Thompson, a 5'11 junior, receiving that ball, and I think that was planned. I, I think that Casey's not going to kick the ball to number seven, Ja'Kai Hayward. He's that dangerous in the open field. Again, good coaching decision made by Casey and the special teams coach Paul Amstutz. All right, now we switch sides. The Tigers go on defense now. Oak Harbor shows a white out to either side. Now he'll motion back into the backfield, so a full house backfield. Give to the third back, looking for running room. Runs into crunch and butt, smiles him, twists forward. Pounding forward for four yards. They will feature number seven, Ja'Kai Hayward, all night long. This guy can catch it. He likes to run inside. He runs outside. He put some big numbers up this year, 21 touchdowns. He's a huge part of their offense. One of the best athletes we'll see. One of the best athletes on the perimeter in the state of Ohio in Division Five. All right, gain of four. Second and six. Quarterback out of the... Uh, out of the pistol, now he's got two setbacks accompanying him. One white I'll give to the Bulldog. Pounds through, twist, drives, but the Tigers swarm to the ball and stop him short of the first down. A gain of four on the play. Number 21, Dalton Witter, another one of those big, powerful backs. Now Oak, Har Oak Harbor will get in some... Yep, Speed not, huddle, a little sugar huddle, and go with some pace. Now they're running that tempo. He puts his head down, powers forward, down or up across the 40 to the 43. Pick up a four and a Oak Harbor first down. They will run some pace. They'll run some some quick huddles, some sugar huddles, get the call at the line of scrimmage. They keep the substitution patterns down for Liberty Center. So good job by Oak Harbor on that quick huddle on the fly. All right, now trip receivers to the far side. Rolling that way. Tries to launch it out there. That's going to be caught. Oak Harbor moving the ball up to the 50-yard line. Other play to Ja'Kai Howard. He comes back in motion, back to the line of scrimmage. Going to find a lot of ways to get that guy to the ball. He's an outstanding Here's athlete. Here's another tempo play. They're going to throw it short out there. Hit right away. Now turns and reverses This could be a field. problem here. Heading around the outside. Fighting off a block as Collie can't get him. Now down the sideline. Finally yanked out of bounds by Trent Cruz. And a, a busted play turns into a uh, about a 30-yard gain. When you have an athlete like Ja'Kai Hayward, they are going to force the ball to him. That's about the fourth different spot. He's gotten to play. They have drawn up a game plan for number seven. That was very effective. Liberty did a good job recovering. That could have been far worse than it ended up being. All right. Let's see here. 25, 29. We'll call it 20, 31 yards. Now setting up on the 24-yard line, first and 10. Motion back to the quarterback. Hands off on a little crisscross, has running room. Good at solo tackle there by uh, Rents down at the 20-yard line. Waylon Rents. Good tackle by Waylon Rents. 
Good job up front by that veteran offensive line from Oak Harbor. Four seniors and a sophomore up front, Spike. They do a really good job in this offense. And they run tempo, and it's very difficult to get subs yes. and to get play calls in. Liberty worked on that really hard, though, this week. All right, out of the gun. Two-step drop. Nice Knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Looked like Trenton it, Cruz possibly on the tip. Trenton or uh, Zyder, one of the two, Number yeah. five, Trent five, Cruz. Five, Trent Cruz got it. They like that quick passing game. They want to get that ball to Hayward. And the best way to do it sometimes is quick throws, but they will take him vertical after three or four short passes to the to the hash into the numbers. So they're, right. they're going to force this ball to Hayward all night, Spike. Third and six, ball at the 20. We might be in four-down territory if you're from uh, Oak Harbor. Motion back to the football. Two wide receivers all by themselves out to the left. Now rolling to his left. Here comes a pass right. Cuts away from that. And they're going to bring him down at the line of scrimmage. Sacarino! Good job by Seth Navarre. Really athletic, stayed with the play. <coughs> they get their initial penetration. The play breaks down. Michael Lalonde trying to find some space, but great job. Nice play by the, f the front three by Liberty Center. Good play by number 70, Seth DeVar. All right. As we suspected, it's four down territory for Oakwood. They need uh, seven yards from their own or from the 21. Back to throw. Throws it out there deep. And, and it's incomplete. Liberty will take over. A really good play by number eight. Landon Cruz, he could have intercepted that ball really easy, but decided to knock it down. Liberty probably would have had the ball inside the five spike and mark, but a high IQ play by uh, safety Landon Cruz to knock well, that down. And, and Landon Bachelman in on the uh, hurry. Yeah. Yep. The quarterback another did hurry. not have another second that's, to wait. That's how Liberty does it up front. That's a big part of coverage. Mark and Spike is Liberty's defensive line getting pressures, hits, and hurries. Great job, Landon Bachelman. Yeah, and that, again, the defensive back with that blanket coverage. All right, now Liberty Center leads it. Seven and a half to go here, first quarter from their own 21. Given in the backfield, and oh boy, they had a blitzer come through, nail the Tigers for a four yard loss. That's number 14, Gary Brooks, a 6 2. 180-pound outside linebacker, tight end, big-time play. We went kind of unbalanced to their to Oak Harbor sidelines, and they read it and they outnumbered it, big time, big big time play, tackle for loss for Oak Harbor. All right, second down, 15 yards to go. The ball on the Liberty's own 16-yard line. Amstutz out of the gun, play action. Throws it over oh, the middle, him. just a little bit low. Chambers made a diving effort. That'll go incomplete. Now third down and 16. And Colton Chambers was wide open for a pretty big gainer, and that was one of the very few times Landon Amstutz was off target. That was a big play. Casey cannot stand being behind the chains. That negative play has put Oak Harbor in business here, third and 14. All right, in this third and 14, Liberty Center with uh, Talent and Cruz spread out wide to this side. Now motion to this side. He's going to roll that way. Has to get rid of it. Up, and it is caught up at the 27-yard line. It's going to be short, but any yardage you get here is better than uh, a kick. That was a big-time catch again by Landon Cruz. He goes up and fights another Oak Harbor defensive back and just snatches it. Out of the air, man, what a weapon Landon has been early in this football game, Spike. Two big-time catches by Landon yep. Cruz. Ten yards on the grab there, but Liberty Center with a fourth down and three at their own 28. Back to punt. Oh, High wow. punt. spiraling. Big time punt. That's going to hit, takes a bounce over the top, and he's going to be smothered under Max inside Walker. the 30-yard line. And that is all Max Walker right there. He just blew that punt. To their 33-yard line, and I'll tell you what. Garrison Cruz. Uh, <coughs> Garrison again? Carson Ridner wasn't sure if he wanted to pick that ball up, but he did. He paid the price. Great job by coverage, but that play was made by number 50, Max Walker, an absolute weapon in special teams. Great punt by Max right there. All right, that got Liberty Center out of some uh, danger. Flip the field. So, first and 10 at their own 30 for Oak Harbor. 
White out to either side. Now they'll shift over to a power uh, heavy right side. Give up the middle. Not much running room there. Let's give him a yard on the play, and that's it. Tigers closed. Colton Cruz coming down from that outside linebacker position. The Sam, that strong side linebacker, ran that play down, got him before he got started. Good job by the linebacking core. Oak Harbor has good linebackers. We have great linebackers. All right, I like the sound of that. I knew you would. That's why I said it, Spike. Are they the Rockets? Okay, okay. All right, out of the gun, straight drop, three steps, fires. That's going to be too high and incomplete. Really good coverage of Grady Miller. Chambers there to back him up. Set the bar on the pressure. Number 13, ah. Ethan Stokes, a 6'4 junior. They like to throw to Ethan Stokes deep. He's got great catch radius, very athletic. This Oak Harbor team's got some big-time receivers. He's one of them, Ethan Stokes. Third and long for Liberty Center. We like to get in these third plus five, Spike. Yeah. You might see a blitz. Certainly going to get some great defensive line pressure. All right. Liberty Center showing six men up tight. Needs to be a timeout, Oak Harbor. All right. Liberty Center starting to rally defensively. You know, Oak Harbor is known for their defense spike. But I'll tell you, we don't talk enough about how good of Liberty Center's defense been all year. I mean, Oak Harbor is good, but Liberty Center's scoring defense has been better all season long, giving up less than six points a game. Our defense has been stellar, stellar all season long. Yeah, and it's we've talked about each unit of the defense being ex excellent, but when they all work together, like you see the pass rush and the pass uh, defenders deep in the uh, defensive backfield. The linebackers closing holes, filling holes. I mean, it's it's a real unit. You know, we're getting great play from all three levels. And I'll tell you, our defensive backfield has been very good all year long. It's kind of neat to see, as Mark just pointed out, we're getting pressures and hurries and really making that quarterback get off his spot and feeling uneasy. And that you know, ultimately puts our defensive backs in a much better position to tip and pass defend. All right, third and nine from their own 31. A tight formation, now motion to the outside. The Dropping right back, here Screen. comes the pass rusher. Screen, play. hit right away. Individual toggle at the 34. That's going to bring up fourth down. I'll tell you what, this Oak Harbor team loves to screen, but that was read beautifully for Liberty Center Tigers. Hustle to the quarterback. Michael Lalonde read that. Good job getting it to number seven, Ja'Kai Hayward, but number five, Trenton Cruz read it all the way. That's film study, high IQ. Trenton, I, Trenton Cruz with a big-time stop on third down. All right, high snap. They're going to get it off. It's going to be a short wobbler. It'll hit right around the 40 and take a little sideways roll, and Liberty Center will get the ball. All right. Considering that uh, Oak Harbor started at their 30, Liberty Center is going to have it at the 35. Garrison Cruz on the uh, rush to the near ball block, just block. about blocked it. I'll tell you what, Trent Cruz did a super job reading that screen spike, broke that thing down. And I'll tell you what, Liberty is very cognizant of how explosive Ja'Kai Hayward is. That time stopped him. and Excellent job. Liberty starting to defend Oak Harbor very effectively. All right, Liberty sends a wide out to the far side. The Cruz is in the backfield, wing right set. Give to the first back, runs into a pile. He'll grind forward for a couple. That's number 76, Caleb Wood, that nose tackle. Initially thought they might play some 4-4 tonight defensively, but they're just seeing a five-man front or three men with their hands down covering the center with two outside linebackers. Zach Weaver now has checked into the game. Xander Zider checks in also. Now he'll pullback. be a tight end on this side. So the Tigers running with a two tight end set. I formation. Zider leading the way. Give to the third back. Crew right Colton. Tackle. And Colton will pound up across the 40-yard line. Gain of a couple more. Nice play by number 14, Gary Brooks. Outside linebacker. Oak Harbor tackles very well. Very disciplined. Number 44, their top defender. Jacob Ridner, all Ohio, outside linebacker. Oak Harbor has very athletic linebackers. Liberty in third and five here. All right, this looks like it might be some kind of a uh, aerial formation. Cruz and 
talent spread out wide to the far side. Now the wing, Colton Cruz in motion, rolling right. Has time, throws up there, and it's up there. Another it's a good ball. It's caught by wow. the high center. Tell you what, Landon Cruz is having a brilliant night. That was a great back shoulder throw by Landon Amstutz, and I'm telling you, on fire, Landon Cruz catching balls with his hands, very strong in his patterns, and just winning those 50-50 ball spike. Yes, what he, a weapon he used tonight. his body well that Shielding time. Shielding him off. Yep. That's a back shoulder throw. Great th- catch and throw by both Landon Amstutz and Landon Cruz. That is impressive. That running, gouging, piling Liberty Center running offense going to the air. First and 10 at the Oak Harbor 31 wing left set with Chambers. Give to the second back off that left side. Still going, driving forward. That superior pounding picks up six yards for Liberty down to the 25. You're going to see Oak Harbor all night dedicate a lot of guys to the running game. And Liberty Center just a couple inches away on that inside runoff tackle. But Liberty doing a really good job. I love six yards on first down spike. Staying ahead of the chains. Trent yep. Cruz doing a great job running the football and, so and far. And we have yet to see much of the short passing game come into well, I effect. thought Colton Chambers was wide open, but Landon, Landon Amstutz saw something and made a great decision on that right. big pass play. All right, double shift. Now in motion. Give it to the go. first back. Straight through. Rents tries a quick hitter. Picks up maybe uh, a yard on the play. That will bring up third down and short for Liberty. Maybe three. Good job by the... Oak Harbor linebackers, again, very active, very effective tacklers. Those defensive linemen spike playing low, making Liberty Center earn every yard, third and three. But, you know, Casey talked about patience, Mark, and spike, and you're seeing that right now. Liberty likes these third and threes, and I think we're back to four-down territory for Liberty. Yes, I totally agree, Buck. All right. The Cruises, twin setbacks, Chambers wing left, wide out over here. They're going to run power off the left side, hit right away, maybe a yard, and that's it. That'll bring up fourth and two for the Tigers. Oak Harbor, great job, got into their 4-4 right there. You saw a four-man defensive line, may have confused Liberty Center's offensive line right there. Oak Harbor will switch defenses. I hadn't seen a lot of this on film, but they've done a good job going from a five-man front to a four-man front. Good job by Oak Harbor that time, putting Liberty in fourth and two. Boy, this is this is tactical chess with manpower. Tigers come to the line of scrimmage. They got a white out here with a wing right set. Long cadence count. Now Amstutz pulls up. Back again. And the Tigers will use a timeout, hoping to get, uh, obviously, to get Oak Harbor to jump. Didn't happen, so a timeout. You know, Casey went to the hard count on fourth and two. He also wanted to see what they did in that f- a fourth and two situation with their defensive line. Oak Harbor got into their five-man front, more of a goal line look. They got nine and a half guys within five and a half yards, six and a half yards of the ball. So Oak Harbor is saying, hey, Landon Amstutz, show me how good you are. And so far, so good. He and Him and Landon Cruz have hooked up for some big-time catches and throws so far. Yes, yes. Do we have the end zone camera? The scoreboard we camera? We have the, uh, Cole Bowman. He's, he's hey. Spike, he boom, is boom. on it. All right. All over boom, it, buddy. Boom, boom, boom bombing. Boom, boom, bombing. Freshman on the show. extraordinaire on the, uh, all the complicated on the boards, stuff that on goes the boards. over my head. On the boards, on the computer, on the sound, on the scoreboard. Mark, is, he's going to put you out of a job. That's fella. okay. Won't hurt my <laughs> feelings a bit. That's your goal. Maybe it? they'll reduce my pay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, the Tigers come out. They show a wide out to the side with the wing right formation. Amstutz under center, motion this way. They're going to play power football, looking for running room. No, drives and pounds. Stops them. And the Tigers are going to come up short. They took it right into the teeth of the Oakwood Oak Harbor defense, and they'll take over on downs. It's worked both ways. I'll tell you what, Oak Harbor's defensively has been very good all year long. We talked a lot about. Some of what they do on offense, Spike, but they have been outstanding on defense all year, and they just stood up right there. Our defensive line did a good job of neutralizing the blocking. We put Colton Chambers in motion to kick out that defensive end, but they were right there for the off-tackle run. Good job by Oak Harbor. All right, it's a slugfest here, back and forth. All right, from their own 23-yard line. Shift over to a power right side. Quarterback with a wide out either way. Give. 
off that left side, looking for running room. Good solo tackle Waylon there. Waylon Rents. Yep, number Waylon 19. Rents, number 19. He's done a good job. He's got nothing but better. One of Eric Weimer's A-plus students really has grown over the last year and, and becoming a dominant force in there in that Mike linebacker position or that middle linebacker. So excellent job. He's had a couple big hits tonight, a couple key tackles. All right. The Rockets come out with the same formation, a wide out to either side. Yeah, they moved. All right, I'll take they that. moved, yep. Captain got the procedure. So hey, it'll march second, him back five. Second and 14. I like that. A hey, couple quick scores. Coldwater, 14. Edison, zero. Patrick Henry, 14. Hopewell Loudon, zero. Wow. Perry, 14. Garfield, zero. Those are all teams in our bracket here. Except for PH. Yeah, Coldwater looks very, very good coming from the MAC. Not surprised at all at that score. Keep your eyes on Ja'Kai Hayward, number seven. All right, double white out to the far side. Rolling that way, throwing up field underneath, caught. And the Tigers will wipe that up. Real big hurry, a two-yard gain is all. Good initial contact and initial tackle. By number one, Grady Miller, but you've got to get get that man to the ground. Number seven, Ja'Kai Hayward again. Going to work really hard to get him the football spike. All right, the end of one here. Liberty Center up 7-0, and we want to hear from our sponsors. A huge thank you to our 2023-2024 Tiger Sport Life sponsors, KK Collision, Meyer Baden Hop Insurance, STN Design, Affinity IT Group, Three Chord, Davis Farm Services, Swanton Weldon, Hammond Dick Leatherman, Pizzanello's Pizza, and Gerald Grain Centers. All right, we're back here for the start of the second quarter from Clay Memorial Stadium here. Liberty Center leads. The Oak Harbor Rockets, seven to nothing, guys. And I, you know, you talked about it being a slugfest, and we knew this. The, these are two stellar, stout defenses, and uh, I think you know it's kind of a chess match right now. And Liberty's got the edge. I so. think the last time we played Oak Harbor, Spike was 2018. We yes. won 14 to nothing, and that was a slugfest as well. Yeah, these programs are physical at the line of scrimmage. And uh, you're going to see a lot more of what you've seen so far. A lot of running the football. Okay, third down and eight. Out of the gun. Wide out. Dropping back. Deep. Has time. Throws high. And nice knocked play. away. Nice play. Incomplete. Tell a single-digit defender. Tom Moeller. Really well, impressive. Thomas Moeller, yes. Thomas Moeller, great job. Really read that route. Liberty very, very aware of Hayward. They went right to him. That was a first down throw, kind of an option throw. Got to the sticks. Great play, number number three. Well, and they Thomas are rolling Moeller. away from Bachelman almost every chance they need, to get. They need to, they need to <laughs> run away from Bachelman. He's no fun to deal with. <laughs> All right, back to punt. Oh, a pooch. He kind of ew, ugly hits at the 50, and it'll kind of roll around. Good and field position fall for the dead Tigers. dead at the 46. <laughs> All right, since Liberty went up 7-0, we had ball back on our own 16. It's fair to say the field position has totally flipped. When you're in a game like this, punting, special teams, punt coverage, making the right call on fourth down, these are incremental decisions we haven't had to make for nine weeks. So we're in a really good football game here with a team that plays and, uh, and looks a lot like we do. Okay, Tigers come out. Wide out to the far side, double wing set. Single setback. They're going to play, run yeah, that. Chambers play wide open. Got a man out there. Chambers caught down there at the 45-yard line. Spins his way down for enough for a Tiger 11-yard gain and a first down. Yeah, Chambers finds himself open a lot. Spike, our play-action passing game has been on point all season long. Nice job yes. by Landon Amstutz. A, a nice delivery to Colton Chambers. Another great reception. Move the chains. Well, and and credit him for holding on to the ball. He he ran, the pattern ran him right into the defender. He was defender. wide open yeah, early in, call, that, in that route. He was wide open in that route early. All right. 
Cruz set out wide over here. Tigers double wing set. Motion this way. They'll pitch. Jet sweep. Look. Nope. Motion, that motion on be, Liberty yeah. this time. I, wow, that was center. tight. I tell you, it was really tight. The guard popped up. And this is a good officiating crew. They are not going to miss the small things, especially when they matter like that. First and 15. We talk about it all the time. Casey does not like to be behind the chains. Those are tough penalties against a good defense like Oak Harbor. Fortunately, the down remains first down, so the Tigers have some maneuverability here. Aiden Talent checks into the lineup. He'll wide, line up wide out over here to the Tiger side of the field. Liberty with a tight formation. Chambers wing on the far side. Play action again. Chambers Rolling open, out. Has open. to get rid of that. It's caught there by Trent Cruz. Rambles from the 35 down to the 30. It's a Liberty Center Tiger first down 15-yard game. There were two receivers wide open on that route. Number 24, Colt Chambers. Number 5, Trent Cruz. The play action passing game against by well, and what a point here. What a play by Amstutz to stay in there. He had two yeah. Oak Harbor Rockets bearing down on him and just lofted at a great pass. All right, double wing motion. They're going to give a jet sweep there this we go. time. Nice to block. The other way. Got to let him right Can't control. Changes there direction. It is. Right down the middle. It's a touchdown. It's into the end zone. It's a Liberty Center Tiger touchdown. Yeah, baby. I'm going to tell you what. That's Woo. a big. That's a big time block with number 63 guard Stephen Brogan, and it really sprung that run. Offensive line doing a great job moving Oak Harbor all over the line of scrimmage. Little toss sweep. For a touchdown, off tackle. Great job, Tigers. All right. Spangler to snap. Amstutz to hold. Good hold. Kick down or kick up, and it is good. Rosebrook drives another one through. 75 out of 82 on the season for 93% baby cakes. One of the things to consider is Casey Moeller likes to script plays, and that means he's, he goes into a game and looks at the first 12 to 16 plays, and he wants to see how Oak Harbor and his, you know, whoever's playing defense against him each week, how they respond to different formations, different sets, you know, different resets, putting guys in motion. And Casey's now beginning to get into rhythm and play calling. Liberty Center doing a great job. The play action pass, I believe, has been very valuable. Some of those early catches oh, yeah. by Landon Cruz and some of those short power passes. Doing a really good job getting guys open, moving the chains. Hey, real quick, uh, Edison scores, so it's 14-7. Coldwater over uh, Milan Edison. Uh, Hopewell Loudon scores at, right at the end of one. It's Patrick Henry, 14. Hopewell Loudon, 7 at the end of one. And Perry's up 14 to nothing at the end of one. All right. Now let's look at it from the other standpoint, Scott. If you if if you are uh, Oak Harbor, do you change anything in your attack? Well, I think that like Liberty Center, they might want to consider throwing the football a little bit more down the field. The running game has not been that good for Oak Harbor. Liberty Center's defense has been outstanding so far. All right, into the teeth of the wind, kicks it all the way down to the ten yard line. Tries to nice go play. the width good of the job. field. Number, wow! Number from the thirty 10, gets up to about the. Uh, 25 yard line. Garrison Cruz, great play. Initial contact by Thomas Bowler. He's got to stay disciplined on those coverage well, lanes, though. He got outside. I, I him. thought he was pushed in the back. Maybe. He, it was a. Uh, Maybe. I think this officiant crew is outstanding. Yeah, I, don't think I think they're they've missing been on much. it. All right. We've still got 10 minutes to go here in the first half, but your Liberty Center Tigers, uh, Liberty Center in America, are ahead 14 0. All right. Now out of the gun. Straight drop. Going Looks, deep. Here he goes. Home run ball out there. Caught. Well, a little bit of jugger and then jogging between the two. He got open at the inside the 50, and it's a first down. Well, not a surprise. Ja now they're ja running Hayward. tempo on Liberty Center. That's something the Tigers prepared for. Four wideouts over here. They throw one oh, great play. He's going to be hit in the backfield. Brooks Bainfeld. Bainfeld. Pow. Wham. Bam. That was a quick huddle there. Got right into some pace. And Brooks Bainfeld with a big-time play tackle for loss. The play before, they went vertical like I thought they might. Ja'Kai Hayward beat number seven, Cam Colley, on a back shoulder. Really athletic play by number seven, Hayward. Colley ran, was running with him. Stride for stride, but Hayward yep. 
Saw the ball quicker. Good adjustment on his route. All right, so the ball at the Tiger 47-yard line. Shift back to the quarterback, two protectors. They try to run it outside. No, sir. He's hit. No, sir. It's a smackering goal. Number five, Trenton Cruz. They've seen that play before on film. There were four Tigers just waiting. There was nowhere to go for Hayward. Another negative play. After that big explosive, Liberty has answered with two negative play (laughs) tackle for losses. Minus three and a minus four. Makes it third down and 17 from uh, the Liberty 49-yard line. The wind is at the back of Oak uh, Harbor. And of us. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Good thing. All right, double white out to either side. Liberty matches up. Dropping back to throw. Screen. They're going to set up a screen. That's going to be oh, cut. Oh, great the job, Tanner Sider. Great job there. Only five yards on the gain, and Liberty Center holds again on third and long. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. Xander Zider read that screen, broke right down, and got to it. Liberty Center's defense has been on top of that screen both times tonight. It looked open, but it wasn't. And Xander? Another, another great he play came, by He went backwards. He, he read did. it that well. He read it. He read wow. it. He did a great job. I'll tell you what, that is Nick Miller. And that is Paul Amstutz working really hard with these kids in the film room saying, on third and long, when we blitz, they're going to screen. And that's two screens that have gone for about three yards. Outstanding job by our defensive line reading that screen. All right, Tigers back deep at the 10 yard it. line. It was blocked. It, it may have been tipped. Captain got a uh, tip on that one, so it goes a uh, very short distance down inside the 20 yard line. Liberty Center's defense now getting ferocious. You know, Oak Harbor came in with a great defensive reputation, but we talked about it, Spike. Man, we are active at all levels. I love our defensive line. They are playing so well right now. Not only just playing their man and winning battles, but reading things and understanding what Oak Harbor is trying to do to us. That is high IQ, smart guy football. All right, 749 remaining in the first half. The Tigers come out. They've got uh, talent spread out wide over here. Double wing package, single setback. They set the man in motion. They'll run Ball that sweep. jet sweep to the side. Ooh, no, nice I block right it there. Outside. He's got a little bit of running room. Puts yes, his head sir. down. <laughs> and Cruz pounds forward across the 25, out to the 27. Well, can you thank his brother, Trent Cruz, for that lead block? Trent got on in front and pounded a linebacker for a big gain. I love it when our guys have a convoy out in front. You're seeing well, bodies flying. Great job. And our by runners Trent. delivering the hits. Now, Trent Cruz delivered the first hit. He was blocking. His brother owes him a hamburger after that one, Spike. Yeah, at hey, least. That's, that's my bad. I called it a seven-yard gain. That was 12. It moved the chains. Tigers first and 10 now at their own 27. Finding some magic on the outside and, and off-tackle plays. Again, goes in motion. They're going to give it straight up the middle I'll to Trent. That. Trent pounds forward, digs for an extra two yards Got up it. across the really 30. Really good block with number 71, Clayton Seal in there. When you watch inside run, and 0-1 trap, that's number 71, Clayton Seal, number 51, Tyler Lay, and number 70, Seth Navarre. Also number 63, Seth Brogan. Those guys really could block that 0-1 spike. Yeah, it was only four yards, but that's believe a good me, four that yards. sets the table gotcha. well. It's a good four yards. All right, double wing package under center. They run that jet sweep we again to Cruz. Oh, nice Cruz block. with a great block. Seth the bar. Here he goes. The green. He's at the 50. It's a horse race now at the 40. The 30. He'll throw a straight arm out. Carrying yes, it then all the way down to the 8-yard line. Oh my goodness. Great job. 70-yard run. Man, Whoa! it's a toss sweep. Offensive line oh, again. They're, off tackle. They're not hearing you just when you do that. Just pounding. Just pounding off tackle. Great cutback, Liberty Center seeing explosive plays on the sweeps and off tackle plays. Our offensive line right now is working Oak Harbor off tackle big time. Impressive job by our tackles. Blocking down and our guards kicking out. First and 10 for the Tigers, deep into territory. Pound by Trent Cruz straight ahead inside the 10. Nice, nice play by number five, course, Carson Ridner, their top I'll, running back and good to inside the linebacker. Yeah. He does a really good job. Again, these Oak Harbor linebackers are really fast to the ball, good tacklers. Six minutes to go, Spike Liberty in business here inside the 10-yard line. 
All right, second down and five at the nine yard line. Tigers show a power left formation. Amstutz under center. Oh, Deep pitch to Trenton. Look for running room. Nice Cuts it back across the grade. A Breaks a tackle. Beats his way into the end zone. It's another Liberty Center Tiger touchdown. Woo, baby cakes. You got to love this. Liberty Center Tiger football fans. They are grinding, pounding, and whooping. I'll tell you what. That play was not there initially. Off tackle, yes. Oak Harbor starting to take the four, five powers and toss sweeps away. But great job by our senior Trenton Cruz to cut back inside for a big touchdown. Liberty finding the holes and finding wow. a way when a play wasn't there to begin with. And our offensive line stayed with it. But great cuts, great feel, and great patience by Trenton Cruz. Hey, guys, again, a couple scores. I'm keeping getting updates. Coldwater now 21-7 to over Edison. So cold water Not just, uh, yeah, you know, those max schools are just tough. Perry, 21-0 uh, over uh, uh, Garrettsville, Garfield, Garrettsville, I think. And uh, PH now uh, still up 14-7 to over Hopewell Loudon. That's a big game for the Patrick Henry Patriots. Yeah, Hopewell Loudon, number one seed, yes, I believe. Yes, sir. Liberty Center, as Casey said it, man. Going to be patient with this run game. You know, Oak Harbor did some good things early, Spike. But Liberty now starting to grind out some very creative toss sweeps. And when you've got senior backs like Trenton and Colton Cruz, they don't give up on a play because right. it wasn't there initially. They keep those feet going, keep reading that secondary opportunity, and boom, those cutbacks have been there for big plays in this running game so far. That could have, should have, would have been a two-yard pickup. All right, here we go, the kick. High end over end. Yes, That's going to come all the way down. Hit yeah. five yards yeah. deep into the end zone. Yeah. Into the teeth of the wind. How about some Max it, Walker on that, man? The incredible Hulk just blows uh, uh, it through. Uh, uh, a 15 mile hour win. Now. <laughs> just crush that. I'm telling you, you saw J- Ja'Kai How- Hayward waiting to get this ball, and he just blew it. I mean, the, the wind, against the wind, guys, that, that wind is blowing 8, 10 miles an hour. And, I mean, Max Walker just destroys the football. Wow. All right. Now Liberty Center on top, 21-0. Out of the gun, they've got trip receivers. Throws underneath. That's caught right away. Does a little juke and jive. Oh, boy. And they go forward for 11 and a rocket first down. Cam Colley. Drilled this all week. That guy will get away from you and go the distance, and he almost did that time. Hayward gets a quick pass out by the numbers. Cam missed him. Fortunately, Liberty rallied to the football, but I'm telling you, Ja'Kai Hayward is a football player. All right. Landon Cruz shading this side over here. They'll give it to the back straight ahead. And tackle from behind by Waylon Rents. Yep. Well, Waylon got in the hole initially. Good read, but here comes some tempo again from Oak Harbor. All right. Oak Harbor now with the ball at the 35. He looks. He'll hitch. Now throws deep. Got a man out there. Caught. These receivers, wow. Ethan Stokes, 6'4". We told you there are some mismatches. We are not that tall out there. You know, Grady gives us some height. But they've got some physical matchups, and they need to respond with a score here. Oak Harbor with some with some tempo again. Sees the mismatch. Ethan Stokes, good job, goes up and gets it. Thomas you know, def- Moeller checks into the defensive backfield. Our defensive backs are running with them, Spike. They're just a little taller. Yeah. All right. Now from the Liberty 33. A little draw up the middle. Picks up about six yards on the play. Yeah, that's Carson Ridner again. They're top back. He's been injured, but... Last week gained 117 yards and 17 carries. Maybe went for 121 and 17 carries. He's their workhorse. He's explosive. He's a home run hitter out of that backfield. So he's just getting healthy, looking really good on that run. All right, second down and four. Back to throw. There you Looks go. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Wow. Lando! Landon Bockelman just, just blows his guy up. And basically took Michael Alon's shoulder pads and pencil whipped him to the ground. That was a wow. grizzly bear just ripping through his guy. Man, that was impressive. 
If Landon you didn't, Bockelman. if wow. you didn't already know, it just happens <laughs> to be the Landon Bockelman leads the Liberty Center Tigers in yeah. Sacarino. Well, welcome to it. Third down and eleven now. Back to throw. Lops it out Yo, there. Caught hit right away. Was, what a read! Yes, sir. By Miller. Grady Miller Whoa. reads the play. It's a little out pass to Brayton Butston. But Grady read it all over. It just came flying up to make that play. Fourth and eight. Great job, Grady. All right. Oak Harbor has to get the ball down to the 20, inside the 24-yard line. Match up to watch. Ja'Kai Hayward up three against and a half to go. Number they seven show, against number seven. Yep, trip receivers over here to the short side. Here's the snap. They'll throw underneath, oh, looking to run. You. Trips and That's falls. That's a drop. Liberty Center football. Wow, they go down again. He simply got tripped up, right? Well, the ball was thrown, and I think Carson Ridner was looking up the field, and he oh. did not secure the catch. Liberty Center's defense now starting to get tuned up. Landon Bockelman with the maybe the play of the game on yes. defense. Oh, now, that sack, that was impressive. There is 318 left in the first half. That stop was huge. It was. Because Oak Harbor gets the ball in the second half. All right, Tigers come out. Double wing set. Wide out to the far side. Motion again. They'll oh, run sweet. that jet sweep oh, to Cruz again. Block. Now Here picks it outside. He's got running room. And brought down after an eight-yard gain on that kick out. Great block, kicked it outside for eight. Number 70, Seth Navarre, number 51, Tyler Lay lead those toss sweeps, and they're getting on their guy. Big hits, big opportunities, and big lanes they're creating on those good somebody, kick blocks. I, I'm getting a million text messages, and I can't answer them all, folks. I'm trying, but somebody just said it's now Landon Tackleman. Tackleman, <laughs> yeah, I love it. Wow. Woo, Tackleman. <laughs> <laughs> all right, under center. Play action. Got a man out wide there open. wide open. That's yes, going to be sir. caught. And Bain at the felt. 35 or 45, down to the 35. Bain felt through a block at the line of scrimmage, a tight end, and then just took off on a fly route. I'm telling you, Brooks has got about seven catches this year. He's a great blocker at the line of scrimmage. And Oak Harbor, it's hard to game plan for a guy that has not caught the ball that much. But he is a rising senior catching footballs in big situations. Great job. Yep. Number 20, Brooks Bainfeld. Oak Harbor selling their souls to stop the run. They beat him there. Now the Tigers with 215 in the two-minute offense from the 38. Rents motion. They're going to give fumble. it straight ahead. Oh, the ball man. fumbled. Uh-oh, and Oak Harbor. Oh, man, that's a big-time fumble by Trenton Cruz. Very rare mistake with Liberty Center there. Boy, they were getting it going on offense, too. That could have been a 28 nothing halftime lead, but give Oak Harbor some credit. They got to him in a hurry before he got the ball secured, and Trenton put the ball on the ground. Now Liberty's defense has got to scramble. All right, so ball is on their own 41-yard line. Oak Harbor has 209 to work with. Really good Liberty Center Tiger crowd here on the home side. They've got this huge stadium about filled. All right, out of the gun. Has time. Throws high over the middle. Caught. That's Ja'Kai Hayward again. I mean, they have targeted him about ten times so far. Outstanding athlete. Their, their game breaker, their best player. 21 touchdowns. So. <laughs> All right, they're back in that quick tempo thing. Trips over here. Looks to throw underneath. Nothing oh, there. Now has to scramble. Here comes Rents. Rents dives. Oh, slows him down. And the Tigers oh, with a big goodness. hit to blow him out of bounds. Whoa. Number five, Trenton Cruz laying a Whoa. load all over Michael Lalonde at the wow. sideline. Wow. That was a little bit of a quarterback draw. But number five, welcome to Clay Memorial High School from Trenton Cruz. Man, that was a fabulous hit. Wow. If you're watching that game, Yay. this game, that Landon Bachelman, man, those yeah. boys are playing some football, Spike. All right, but the situation now, second down and one at the Tiger 30-yard line. The clock is stopped on the out-of-bounds play with a buck 49. Liberty did a great job that last snap covering. That's what gave Lalonde a lane to run. 
All There's right, a screen. They set up the screen again, fighting through, good blocking there, and they'll pound that ahead for a nearly 10 yards down to the 21. I, I got to believe Oak Harbor staff has seen that play. They believe it's there. <laughs> that time effective. Carson Ridner on the first down. Liberty going to pressure Spike. They're going to throw screens at us. All right. They run that same trip receiver. Now he'll roll that way. Throw underneath. Yeah. That ball flies off his hands. Cam Colley there quickly. It would have been a negligible gain anyway, but uh, incomplete. That'll stop the clock with a minute and a half. They believe they've got a matchup they can win. Most snaps, Shakai Hayward against Cam Colley, but Cam Colley is tough. A good tackler. Really got to his spot there and knocked that ball away from Hayward. So, again, Oak Harbor targeting Hayward a lot. We knew that would happen. He's probably the best net athlete on the field. Double wide out to either side. Motion back to the ball. Out of the gun. Two-step drop. Looks draw. run there. And Landon that quarterback Bachman. draw doesn't go anywhere. Maybe a yard and that's it. You know what? Landon Bachman started to go outside shoulder. That was a design quarterback draw. He dove back in. Left arm ripped him right <laughs> down. Tell you what. Tackle, man. You aren't going to make a lot of money. Ah, yes. There's not a lot of pay dirt and cash where number 75 is at. All right. Clock running 105. This certainly is four down territory. Third and nine for the Rockets. 20 yards away. Out of the gun. Looks, looks. Now throws it short. Caught. That's going to be about uh, seven yards on the catch. Fourth down. Timeout. Oak Harbor. Yeah, well, 47 seconds left. That fumble was costly. It's a rare mistake by a phenomenal senior, and it's given Oak Harbor some life. They're in the red zone with 47 seconds to go. They've got a decent kicker with the wind behind them, but they're looking for seven. Because, Spike, you mentioned earlier, right. they get the ball at half. This would be a huge stop if Liberty could could stop Oak Harbor right now. Coldwater now up 28-7 yeah. to seven over yeah, Edison in the yeah. late in the second quarter. I don't mean to call that game over, but Coldwater is a is an outstanding <laughs> football team. Guys, you're starting to see quarterback draw. Michael Lalonde, when the, when the pressure comes, he sees a lane. He's taking it. If there's no middle linebacker in the middle of the field, I, you know, he's starting to do some quarterback yeah, draws. I don't know he wants another hit like that. Well, that was uncomfortable. I'll tell you what, <laughs> I, I wouldn't want a hit from Trent Cruz like or Landon Bachelman. Those boys will make you feel real unwelcome. <laughs> All right. Ball on the 14-yard line. Fourth down and three to go. Again. Out of the gun. Now they'll look to the sideline. They've got a lot of play clock left here. They do not want to give Liberty Center the ball here. Fourth and three, big time play. All right, looks, looks. Got the matchup. Goes the the low Stokes. Fade. Got it. Caught. Ethan Stokes. Ethan Stokes, man, he's got it. I mean, he. You know, Grady Miller was right there, but Ethan Stokes is. They love to throw to him deep. They just run him up the numbers. He's a great jumper, excellent set of hands. Now, he was the only one that had a chance to yeah, catch that ball. That was a big time ball. play. You're going to see more Ethan Stokes in the second half. You know, Oak Harbor runs the ball 70% of the time. We run it 70% of the time, but we both found a lot of success throwing the football. Okay, well, good old-fashioned who done it. Who done it better? Yes. <laughs> Here's the kick. It's good. Low line drive. It's good. 21 to 7 now. 42 seconds remaining in the first half. Well, I talked to Ryan Miller today at parent-teacher conferences, and Ryan is a is a very smart, high IQ football coach. And I said, "This looks really good on paper. It's going to be a good football game." He, he says it is, and we started talking about little cracks and chinks in each other's armor. He does a good job of self scouting us. He does a great job of breaking down film on Oak Harbor, and you know, he, he kind of felt like there could be some advantage for Oak Harbor in the passing game and it's not something they do a lot of Spike but that's where they've had the most success is yeah. throwing the ball up and winning some mismatches and so far you might see Oak Harbor start to throw the ball more which is completely completely the antithesis of their program the last 45 years they love to run the football they want to control the clock they want to limit possessions but so far tonight they've gotten a lot of mileage out of throwing the ball up to their top receivers Ethan Stokes and number seven, Ja'Kai Hayward. All right. I don't look for him to go deep with this. I don't think they want a chance to return. 
Look for another uh, half squibber. There it was. Yep. Puncher forward, grabbed there at the 30-yard line. Puts his head down and balls forward. Good job, Colton Cruz. <laughs> Ball at the 45. They just, they just want to hit somebody. Yeah, I think, Back I think, in business I, here. I think number 44, Jacob Ridner, who's one of their top defenders, did not like that. I'm watching him. He got, he's got his bell rung a little bit. I, I think they kicked it to the wrong dude, number two. <laughs> Colton Cruz enjoys contact. Yeah, he turned around and looked at the kicker like, what are you doing? He wasn't, he wasn't trying to avoid contact on that return. 14 yards. All right. So Liberty Center on their own 44. Am Stutz with a double wing. Here's Rents. They're going to run a pitch sweep to Rents. Another good block. Outside. Another Hang good block. block. Here Rents we go. Tackle. Still on his feet. Oh, still rounding it. and twisting and Wow, spinning. what a block Down by number five. Oh, man. Line. We're getting a lot of blocks on those toss sweeps, guys. 18 yards. Big time block. Trent and Cruz having a big, big night. Running the football, blocking it up. Great job by Seth Navarre. Man, oh, man. That toss sweep has been money so far in the first half for Liberty Center. 31 right. seconds to go. Inside the 40-yard line on one toss sweep. Great job. And great play calling by Casey. He's found something off tackle, guys. It, it has been working. Okay. Hey, I want to throw out some things. We've got our our uh, schedule for the winter sports season uh, up on our website. We've got girls basketball, I think, starting on the 30th. It's our first girls broadcast uh, home with Hilltop, I believe. And... Uh, so we'll, as we get changes and updates and whatever, uh, obviously if we move on here, we'll be at the next game. And, uh, you know, check our website, lctigersportslive.com, for updates. You know, a lot of teams, when they get into a, a two-minute offense spike, they want to throw the football around. But, man, when you're running that effectively and you're getting that kind of cut back and those kind of blocks downfield, Liberty can hit home runs in this off-tackle game tonight. All right, Liberty comes with talent and crew spread out wide to the far side. Man wide here, straight drop. Here comes pressure and incomplete. He had to dump it out, attempting to get to Rents. Incomplete. Well, there was no play action there, and they unleashed a couple linebackers, and Landon Amstutz just threw the ball away, but that one maybe throw it away out of bounds. They threw that ball. A little too close to the line of scrimmage. Yeah. That was almost interception. Way Waylon Rents turned into a defender real yeah. quick. Made yeah. a great play there. Okay, 39-yard line, 27 seconds left on the clock. Rents is going to be a wing on the left. Chambers wing on the right. Wide out over here. Now that same motion again. They're going to run that jet sweep to Rents. Rents looks for a hole. Nothing doing. And... Oak Harbor closes the gap there for a one-yard gain. The Tigers use their last time out. Well, I'm going to tell you, seconds. this is opening up the 0-1, yep. 2-3 dive. This is opening up the inside run game that Oak Harbor has controlled so far outside of a couple of great runs by Trenton Cruz. Those toss sweeps now, Oak Harbor dedicating some defensive backs and doing a really good job of tightening up the 4-5 hole. So Oak Harbor, good defensive team, culturally good defensive team. Liberty Center has just found pay dirt on some big time runs and we're out blocking them on some of these big runs we've had spiked, but O'Carver's starting to answer a little bit here late in the first half. Well, it, what comes also goes, so I'm sure Liberty Center and the coaching staff at the halftime break will come up with some uh, uh, where there's an action, there's going to be a reaction. You know, we are not a great just drop back or shotgun throw the ball down the field team play actions kind of been our signature but you know casey took a shot there and uh oak harbor answered with a blitz put liberty in a third nine with 20 seconds to go we need a big time play here boy a touchdown would be sweet before half wouldn't it here spike oh buddy all right the goose at right tackle tigers with a tight end right chambers, Watch chambers. The wing on the right cross country pass yeah all right, Amstutz, play action, back to throw. Going Looks, deep, he's got him, he's deep. got him. It's out yes, there. Yes, sir. Oh, what a catch. Line. Oh, my Cruz. goodness. Landon Cruz has had a huge night. What a catch falling on his back. Wow. And Liberty Holy Center gets cow. to the line of wow. scrimmage. Wow. By the time they set the ball, they practiced that, downing oh. the ball in practice a lot. 
that time they hustled, got there, only lost two seconds. I am going to tell you something right now. You are watching a clinic of how to catch a football by Landon Cruz. These are not easy plays, Spike. He was falling back on his yes. back and was able to snatch that ball. No. Wow, no. what a what play. What do you run? We've got 12 seconds left. If you run and get stopped short, that's the end of the quarter. Now, Liberty Center looking for a little play action here. Running into his man, stays Get alive, it. lost no, it out there, incomplete. A little rollout. Yep, that had uh, trouble written on it right off the bat. I think you're going to want a, a similar play. You need like a run pass option here. O'Carver did a really good job on that. They call a sprint out right. We want some points here before half if we can get it with our field goal kicker. He'll have one more play here before he decides he want to come bring the kicking team on. Well, we have no timeouts. That's very important. Spike mentioned that a minute ago. All right, now Oak Harbor has to figure Liberty Center will want to throw the ball. We'll Land see what kind of a pass rush they put on. Watch the slant to number eight, Landing Cruz here. Oh, going to go fade. He's got him. He's got him. Oh, out of bounds. Pushed him out of bounds. Yep. He grabbed it, but he was hit in the air. Hey, what? And went out of the end zone. I'll tell you what, he is catching everything that is thrown to him. Landon Cruz, I mean, we knew he could catch, but, man, has he made some plays. I mean, Spike, Oak yes. Harbor defenders are all over him. He's just winning footballs. Wow. All right, they're going to set up for yeah, the Oak Harbor with a lot of confusion. Now I had to call a timeout. So. Casey Muller knows how important points are here. Got a very reliable kicker within range. So, essentially, this is going to be a – extra point kick the only difference is, left, can be is on the it's left on hash. the left hash yeah now, Casey, and, and did they want to be on the left hash or the man, right hash Casey and I go back and forth <laughs> I coached him in the mid 90s you know he's smarter than I am by 20 he'll tell you that but I think right right footed kickers like that right hash he claims they like it the left hash so I'll uh, I'll defer to coach Moeller but I prefer that thing on the right hash and I, and I just say as long as it goes to the uprights, nobody yeah. cares. Let's just, you know what, let's just make this. This is, a, this is a big three points for Liberty Center. Man, I'll tell you what, big first half by Landon Cruz, Spike. He has made some just absolutely exquisite catches. Oh, my absolutely. goodness. Okay, what a, what Kenny a football player. Digger's texted me like eight million oh. times. Shut up, Digger. <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> All right, here comes the field goal attempt. From the, uh, it'll be a 17-yarder kick on the oh, way. Yes, sir. It looks good. Big time. It's yes, good. sir. Ian Rosebrock, the snapper, the holder, excellence. Liberty Center comes back in the final 40 seconds of the first half. Come, excuse me, come up with a three-pointer. They go up 24-7 to at the half. Man, oh man, that was a big three points for Liberty Center right there. And a great response on a fourth and three. The defense stood up when they had to spike, got in position to almost score a touchdown. Man, that was impressive. Great job by Liberty Center's offense. All right, well, we're going to take our halftime break once again from Clay Memorial Stadium. Liberty Center 24 and the Oak Harbor Rockets 7 as we take our halftime break and we'll cover the bands.
Next up was the 2019 Two from the Canadian Theater of the Weekend. This song set new records as a song with the most weeks set in the top 10 in the Billboard Hot 100. It was part of the 2021 Super Bowl Halftime Show. Featuring senior trumpet player Tam Duncan, as well as our main dress, here it is Black and White.
tonight. One more time, our band is bringing to you our Halloween show. Our first song brings Jet back to life. We can't help but dance along. Sorry, we're not bringing him back to life. This is Michael Jackson, Thriller. Drum major, Reese Counselor. Is your band ready? Your Tiger Marching Band.
A huge thank you to our 2023-2024 Tiger Sport Life sponsors, KK Collision, Meyer Baden Hop Insurance, STN Design, Affinity IT Group, Three Chord, Davis Farm Services, Swanton Welding, Ham and Dick Leatherman, Pizzanello's Pizza, and Gerald Brain Centers. We're back here from ha at the halftime. Liberty Center leads the Oak Harbor Rockets 24 to seven as uh, Liberty Center with a late fumble, uncharacteristic fumble, Scott. And, uh, but but I, I think that was huge to that drive to get those points back. And that kind of said, okay, you got us on one, but watch this, we're gonna drive right back. Yeah, it so a, It was an impressive answer by Liberty Center at the half. and. Very close to a touchdown, but some statistics I think will will be a little shocking when you realize that both Oak Harbor and Liberty Center run the ball almost 80% of the time. Total yards, Liberty Center with 339 yards against Oak Harbor's 198. That is significant. Oak Harbor was giving up less than seven points a game. Not tonight. Liberty Center with 24 in the first half. Rushing totals, Liberty Center for 13 attempts for 180 yards. Oak Harbor, something they like to do, folks. 19 attempts for 26 yards. Liberty's Ouch. defense. Liberty Center's defense has been on point and right after their run offense. Very impressive. Passing totals. Now, this is kind of will, will be a little bit nerve-wracking when you consider Liberty Center. Great job by Landon Amstutz. He's 7 for 12 for 154 yards unofficially. Huron has thrown the ball 20 times. Oak Harbor. Twen oh, I'm sorry. Oak Harbor, 20 times. They're 14 for 20 with 172 yards. They've got some matchups that they've exploited. Been very impressive tonight. A couple of their receivers, Gary Brooks, number 14, six foot, 280 pound junior, has made some plays tonight. And they've got a couple different guys in this passing game that are tall. Ethan Stokes tonight has caught three big passes. Tonight, though, Landon Cruz having a huge night. Four receptions for 101 yards. Liberty Center, again, total yards, 334. Oak Harbor, 198. Spike, Liberty Center has had to throw the ball a little bit more than they wanted to, but I think throwing it opened up their passing game, and Casey went right to it off tackle and started to see some big-time pay dirt after a few passes early. Well, the coaches really run everything. It's all week long where this is coming to an advantage because Liberty Center in practice – I mean, they throw the ball and throw the ball and run these routes and run these routes. And, and it's, it's exquisite. It's, it's exacting. It's as precise, full of precision like the running game is. And so it is there. Amstutz is putting it on the money, and these guys are catching the football. Hey, Landon Cruz is just having a monster night. And, you know, guys, we knew he was a weapon. We just have not had to throw the football that much. But tonight, his catches have been... Incredible. I mean, they've been highlight catches tonight. Landon Cruz has always been a good football player. He's been a great defender, a great rover, a deep safety. But tonight he has made some of the biggest plays of the season. He's answered the call when the ball's been thrown. And what's impressive is he's winning 50-50 balls. Yeah, He's going yes. up against guys that are taller and winning those balls. As you said, shielding himself from the defender. Yeah. Snatching balls with strong hands. Landon Cruz was just outstanding in that first half, Spike. Now, looking at our defense, I, I missed the uh, rushing their Oak Harbor's rushing stats. What were they? Uh, I had uh, see my, my statistician took his book with him. Well, but just he, they, they ran it. They ran it for under thirty yards. Okay, they ran there, it for under thirty yards. There is obviously a big key. They threw it for about it, a buck seventy. They had to throw the ball for a buck seventy, and they've run it for under thirty yards. So Liberty's run defense has been stellar tonight. You know, it's been amazing. Oak Harbor Liberty has had their big explosive plays mostly in the pass game. We've had a couple big runs by Trenton, but overall, Liberty and Oak Harbor, both teams that love to run the football spike, are seeing success in the air tonight. Right, right. And that's that's what you give when you get two good teams bucking heads. Well, it's good to have a senior quarterback and Landon Amstutz, and some of those early play-action passes got guys wide open. He had multiple options on throws. Colton Chambers wide open, Trent Cruz wide open. 
doing a really good job delivering a good football. Catchable. Do you remember about what we ran for? Uh, I think I had us for something in the, like, 172, 177. Oh. We've dominated on the ground, but it's been the passing game, I think, that has opened up. Oh, I see. That running game. Well, and that, that's going to be it. It'll have to be the Liberty Center's ability to be very diverse. They continue to run the football. We're going to see it. Run, run, run. And then the play action, the, the chambers, that, that short route yeah. to uh, – uh, oh gosh, number uh, 20, uh, Bainfeld. Oh, Bainfeld with a yeah. big catch, big big chain moving catch. This is a big first possession. Oak Harbor's been outstanding in the third quarter all season long. They come out and they score touchdowns. That's what they do. And that statistically, the third quarter has been their most prolific scoring quarter all year. So Oak Harbor ready to tee it up against Liberty Center. They've got they need a touchdown spike to stay in this football game. Well, and if it comes down to where it has to be a, a what should I call it there, a, 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 a Donny the Brook. Yeah, a Donny Brook. Brook. If it if it comes down to a mafia shootout here, <laughs> well then that's what we'll have. Hey, a quick update: PH twenty, Hopewell loud and seven going into the third quarter. Wow. That's wow. a big game for the Henry County. Uh, yeah, I want to see PH win. Well, Henry County football is just a different yeah. breed, baby. Yep. NWAL. Yep. Yeah, that's our home, yep. man. Yep. That's, that's right. NWAL. Henry County versus. Uh, Coldwater, 35. Yeah. Milan Edison, yeah. 7. Yeah, I think Ooh. Milan Edison has met, their, has met their end tonight. Coldwater sitting right there. And Coldwater was a 6. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. Of course, that, we'll that stuff doesn't mean a we'll, lot. We'll, yeah, I think, as you said in the pregame, Spike, all these rankings and all these statistics, you threw them right out the window. This football game is turning out a little bit differently than we thought. The rushing offenses, I mean, Liberty's been very good, but it's been the passing offenses that have been impressive for both teams tonight. All right, we do have a little bit of a breeze down on the field. I'm sure it's very cold. It is cold here in the wind. Diamond now Dan, it, Diamond it, it, Dan was laughing when you said a little bit of a breeze. <laughs> He's thinking typhoon-like winds up here. Yeah, well, He's got his hand warmers on the control <laughs> button here. You think he was Antarctica, man? It's forty-three degrees. Let's go, yeah, Diamond Dan. Yeah, but it Dan. ain't bothering Boom Boom any. He's got his parka. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, High yeah. end over end, and look at the distance yes, sir. on that. Against Into the, the end zone. There ain't gonna be no return on that, oh, baby. My goodness, Max Walker blasting the ball against a 10-mile-an-hour wind. I mean, just blasting it. You know, no Carver's really wanting Hayward to get this football in the kickoff, but Liberty Center doing a really good job kicking the, kicking the ball through the end zone. Impressive. All right. So we'll see what Oak Harbor comes out with here. They show a double wide out to the uh, Liberty side of the field, one over there. Single setback and all night out of the gun. Give off the right side. Taken on right there by, I believe, Waylon Rentz. Rentz. Yep. Maybe uh, two on the play, and that's it. You know, this is what Oak Harbor wants to do, Spike. They want to run the football with number five, Carson, uh, Carson Ridner. They want to run that football in the middle of the field, but Liberty Center's been very good in there. Number 19, Waylon Rentz, big time stop. All right. Same uh, trip receiver set. They flip sides. Back to throw. Has time. Throws underneath. Oh, nice Caught. play. Waylon right Rentz. away. That's only going to be a gain of a couple yards. It will bring up third down. Big time play by Waylon Rents. Tight end Jacob Ridner, six foot, 205-pound junior. Excellent job by Waylon. Two tackles on two plays for Waylon Rents. All right, third down and three. The Rockets take a lot of time. Of course, the play clock is only at, uh, still at 15. Oh, that's a receiver. Okay, here we go. Now they've got a, the three wide out set. Tigers show blitz. Now man in motion. They'll give it oh, straight yeah. up the middle Great and job. stuck Trent right Cruz. there. No okay, game. That's a loss of three yards. Smackerino. I'll tell you what, Trent Cruz walked up to the line of scrimmage. Went right through the A gap, and their offensive line had no answer for Trent. Right. Great run blitz, excellent call by Matt Bryan to get the stop on on third and three. Great That's first cool. series on defense by Liberty Center. That and is huge. That sets a tone 
for the second half. Yeah, and I'm telling you, I, these guys can score in the third quarter coming out of halftime. Oh, a little pooch. That's not going wow. anywhere. Like There's a lot of bounds at the 35-yard line. That ball didn't carry uh, maybe 10 yards, is it? Ouch. Man, Liberty Woo. Center in, in business on a shank punt. Wow, I'm sure Casey's going to love that field position. Spike, I don't know if you read the Northwest Signal, but your Cruise Coalition, the numbers <laughs> that they've put up in four years, 5,000 yards of offense, 82 touchdowns, and 500 tackles. That's your Cruise Coalition over four <laughs> years. What do you say about that? Oh, that's production. Oh, buddy, that's unfathomable. <laughs> that, is, that is unfathomable. All right, Tigers shift over. They've got a strong right set. They're going to give... Power off the right side, two blockers out in front, but that goes nowhere. Great coverage, or a great fill, excuse me, by Oak Harbor, and no gain on the play. I really like the block, but number 24, Colton Chambers there. I thought that play was open to the outside, but Whalen is an inside runner. I think that play had some potential if he runs to the boundary, but uh, good play by Oak Harbor to start their, their third quarter here on defense. All right, Tigers now come out in the double wing set. Trent Cruz, the single setback. Now motion. Trap. They're going to give it straight ahead for Trent. Trent pounds oh, off one. We yep. got a flag on the play right away. Well, we might get a block below the waist. Yeah, I think in that's, there. Yep. Yep. that's what we do on traps. We'll, we will block low. You have an opportunity to do that within five <laughs> yards of the ball. I'm going to call a personal foul here. That would be 15 yards. Ooh. That's a big-time penalty right there. Liberty will be a second 25. So what started to be a really good start to the drive at the 35-yard line has turned to Liberty at the 50 spike. That's a big-time penalty at 15 yards that block below the waist. Where's Cole? He's hobbling. Hmm. All right, Amstutz now out of the gun. Rolls right, has time, looks, throws nice throw. a runner. Great, Great diving catch, Landon Cruz <laughs> down you. inside the 40 Landon yard line. He's caught every Guys, Landon Cruz is putting on a, a show here. His hands and the strength in his hands, the way he snatched that ball, that ball was thrown back to the inside. That was designed to kind of get to the hash mark or the sideline, but man, oh man, what a great catch. We have close to 5,000 wow. loads. Holy All right, man. well, fans out there, I hope you're enjoying this Liberty one. Center it's a Tiger Nation. Wow, impressive. <laughs> All right. Brook went back to the right, single set, now tries to go around, now back. Ooh. Great effort. Landon Chambers. Amstutz took a shot to the helmet, yeah, wanted four, a call. Number 14, Gary Brooks on a blitz, outside linebacker. Tell you what, Oak Harbor has made a decision. They are not going to sit back and let Landon Amstutz pick them apart. They've sent some very strategic blitzes on those third and longs, and that time caused a quick throw by Landon Amstutz because I think Colton Chambers was open, probably not for a first down. Okay. Liberty Center elects to go for the punt on th fourth and uh, from the 36. A little short punch, and that's going to be fair caught down there inside the eight-yard line. So Liberty Center at this point in the middle part of the third quarter playing field position. They still lead it 24-7. That was an impressive punt. I, I, I just can't say it enough. When you're playing defense like Liberty Center, Max Walker puts that ball inside the 10. Typically, if the ball's inside the 10, you want that thing to bounce into the end zone. And Oak Harbor chose to catch the football. Okay, now you're on the eight. So here we go. Great job by Max Walker again. Yes, again. All right, a wide out to either side. Out of the gun, standing back at his four. Drops back to throw. Oh, Landon it Bockelman. was hit at the end, Landon and that Bockelman. pass goes way awry. <laughs> Landon Bockelman just... Landon buried him. Tackled you. in there on the pressure. Quarterback wow. Michael Michael Lalonde had no shot there. He was standing there, and here comes the grizzly bear, just buries him from behind. <laughs> wow. I don't I don't know how he got it off. Impressive. You cannot Woo. block number 75 with one guy. You're going to lose that more times than you'll win it. Okay, second down and 10 from their own nine-yard line. 
They'll run a little scissors up the middle, and that'll go for uh, maybe a couple, and that's it. The Tiger Rush defense has been very stingy tonight. Number 55, Evan Hall, the left guard, got into Xander Zyder a little bit and, and blew him back a little bit. That's the first time I've seen Xander go backwards. Really might, good block up front. Might be the last time. All right, 7.50 left in the third. Third down and seven from their own 12-yard line. Oak Harbor drops back to throw. Oh, Looks. man, here we now go. Now has to run out of there. Under pressure, fires it upfield, no, and that's sir. going to be low and incomplete. And that's Seth DeVar, Landon Bachelman in hot pursuit. <laughs> and I'm telling you, making, <laughs> making Michael Lalonde really uncomfortable. He took some hits there, Mark. I, I the wanted to start half. running myself. Not I good, was here for him. I mean, Halloween is over, but those two showed up in Mask, Michael Myers mask from Halloween. Goodness wow, sakes, that, on the run. That freight train loaded with lumber, lumbering lumber, and that could have been dangerous. Ooh, Fourth down now. I thought that was motion. Here's the punt, and I think that was shanked again. That could have been, that could have been deflected great, and blocked. Takes a great Oak Harbor bounce, and it'll go all the way back out to the 45-yard line yeah. where Liberty will take over. Well, Liberty Oak Harbor was looking close. Oak Harbor was looking for a roughing the, the 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 punter there, but I think that ball was tipped. Yep. Or he kind of kind of did the old soccer player where he kind of fell to the ground and acted a little bit. But Liberty Center, you said it right, Mark. They're getting close to a block that would have been devastating for Oak Harbor if Liberty got into that punter. Well, okay, here's a chance now for Liberty to take advantage. They've got it on the Oak Harbor's 45, running out of the eye, wing left package. Give second back. They're going to run it straight ahead, and it's going to be good for maybe a couple into the teeth of the D. Is Liberty's, this Woody Hayes time? Liberty yeah. Five yards in a be, cloud of dust? Liberty Center is going to be really comfortable letting that clock run. You're going to see a lot of these inside runs, and w when you've got a weapon spike like Max Walker, you can do a lot of different things and special teams after a drive. Exactly. Good call. All right. Landon Cruz comes in with the play. We have play not seen we have 15. not we have not seen number two Colton Cruz back in this game. We did see him limping a little bit in the first half, kind of anxious to get him back in this football game. All right. Trent on the left. Rents on the right. Rents takes the hand Straight off. Puts a there hit you down. Go. Here he goes. Breaks a tackle. Kicks he to the explodes. outside. He's got one man to beat. Six out of straight oh, arm. Yeah. Down at the three-yard line. 40 yards of burst through the line of scrimmage. Kicked it to the outside and down there in oh, the man. red zone area. I'll tell you what, when Waylon Rents hits that 0-1 trap, he gets his shoulder square for his size spike. He really runs low and square wow. the line of scrimmage. And then you saw those fresh legs explode to the second level. Waylon Rents hitting home Man. runs from the fullback spot. Boy, off of that, off of that Tiger right side, uh, Navarre and uh, Goose, I think. Now give second back. Oh, yeah. Rents Big into the hole. end zone. It's a little yes, bit sir. Tiger touchdown. Yes, sir. Waylon Rents behind that triple Ooh. power eye. And just basically balls in the end zone. Liberty Center now 30 to 7 spike. You can start wow. to smell it a wow. little bit hey, here baby. in the third quarter, baby. <clears throat> Offensive line tonight now starting to really impose their will. Excellent runs by Waylon Rents, but that offensive line is opening up cavernous holes. Here's the kick. It's on the way right down the heart of the plate again. That steak and potatoes there. Liberty Center on top, 31 to 7. Man, oh, man, that is an impressive drive by Liberty Center. And, you know, without Colton Cruz in the lineup, you say, well, what have we lost? Well, I say, what have we gained? <laughs> Waylon Rents, very impressive. You know, you got a guy with that kind of size running with that kind of speed, and he likes contact. Really good job well, by Waylon. Well, Scott, we talked about that with Coach Moeller about, you know, who can play where, and, and we talked about Waylon Rents getting into the game. Specifically. Well, we because we talked about Colton uh, Chambers maybe not playing as much because he had a sore knee. But, uh, you know, it, he's like, I'm, I'm very confident with uh, Waylon Rents in there. It's, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a business. That's right. It's, it's a, a part business of, trip. It's our business trip here to Clay. <laughs> and Waylon Rents bought his briefcase because he's starting to pick it up. And run some people over again. So. Yeah, oh, Colton man. Cruz was hobbling at the end of the first half there, and I think I think it's just uh, hey, 
You sit here. We got more football to play. Thirty-one. Wayland, next man up. We, you know, we haven't used that yeah. because we've been pretty healthy this year. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Here's Walker approach. His oh, kid yeah. line drive over oh, his yeah. head. Caught okay. there at the here one yard line. He'll try to return it up the left sideline. Ooh. And hit right away inside the 20 yard line. So, a very another successful outing for the kickoff team. I tell you what, that was Stephen Brogan. I tell you, yep. we got a lot of good football players in this, on, on, in this program. We got guys that do all kinds of things, and, and guys that you look to as stars and some role players. But I will tell you, number 63, Stephen Brogan, is a heck of a football player. Great guard, great right. reserve linebacker, and great on coverage. Yep, he plays everywhere. Super. All right, from the 20-yard line, back to throw. Here oh, comes man. the pass Bachman rush. Almost it's got away. It. Here comes another Oh, one. oh yes. and it's going to be incomplete. Woo! Welcome back, Colton Woo! Cruz. Colton, was that Colton? That yes, was it was. Colton, man. Well, and he laid – I, I want to I make legit. a point of this. He he held up. He didn't drive through the quarterback. Uh, he didn't go for the well, – the, Mark. I think number three, Michael Lalonde, might dispute how hard he was well, hit there. He got a hit hard, but he did not get the personal webs. foul roughing the passer. The which webs was... were shaking on that All one. All right, another stellar play. Second down and 10 again from their own 20. Spread formation. Nothing. They'll Zero. Run it right up the middle. Wow. And they might only get it right up again, the middle. Again, Colton Cruz. Cruz. What, Liberty Center right now defensively has all the answers. Colton Cruz again on a little bit of a run blitz there. Uh, Matt Bryan dialing up some really good defensive play calling here, Spike. I mean, kids are executing, but this is coaching right here. Well, and guys, we, we talked about the Huron team being a prolific passer, but when you're running for your life, it's hard to be hard to be good at it. Thomas Moeller now into the lineup as a DB. Third down and nine, back to throw. Oh, Bachman again. Corriott, throws oh. it to the sideline. Wow, nice catch. Caught first wow. down. Tell you what. Hayward again, Ja'Kai Hayward on third long. They throw a little out pattern, and I tell you what, he's a nice little athlete. He caught he that is. ball real nice for a first down, and Oak Harbor needs something good down 31-7. His clock continues to run. They can run a lot, all those 8- and 10-yard yes, out they routes do. they want. It's going to take a long time. All right, trip receivers over here. No drop, fires high, incomplete. Liberty Center right there. Hey, Patrick. And oh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Spike, go ahead. And uh, Cruz both over there on the coverage. Patrick Henry, 26, Hopewell Loudon, 14 in the fourth quarter, guys. Oh, man. Oh, man. Big oh, man. win, yeah. big game for the Patrick Henry Patriots. You're seeing J- Ja'Kai Hayward getting a lot of targets tonight, Spike. He is a great athlete, but... Liberty Center's defense now closing closing on some speed with him and doing a good job defending him. All right. What, four wideouts now. Gets rid of it high. Oh, Incomplete. Play, I believe you are, Cam Colley. Oh, he might have got burnt once, but he came back. Another terrific play. Yeah, Cam Colley is competing every single snap against Hayward, and it doesn't hurt when number 75 is yeah. getting home. <laughs> He's getting home on the quarterback, and Michael Lalonde, is going to need a cold bath tomorrow with a lot of ice. <laughs> He's taking some hits tonight, Spike. The tackleman. Oh, I love that one. <laughs> All right, hard motion coming this way. Liberty Center's defense shifts. Now back screen. to throw. They set up the screen. Lob it out there. there. A lot of running room. That's going to be a first down. And he'll put his shoulder down and drive forward up to around the 45-yard line. Gain of 15 and a first down. Oak Harbor really good at screens. They've run four. Two of them have been effective. That was a good-looking screen right there. There was nobody there as Liberty loaded up on the blitz. Good answer by Oak Harbor. Now Oak Harbor from their own 45. They've got five minutes left in the third. Trip receivers to this wide side. Tigers play it back over the middle. That's going to be caught at midfield, and he'll... Burrow down to the 45 and a first and 10. Liberty Center traditionally likes to play a 3-3 stack. Three down linemen, three linebackers, and four defensive backs. But now going to a four-man line, Colton Cruz is hand down playing the field, which is the strong side tonight for Liberty Center. This is a good passing attack. It's, you can't shut it down well, They've got all weapons. The they want to run it, but they've got weapons to throw to. All right, same trip receivers over here. 
They throw the home run ball and super coverage. Cam Colley all over that one. Just like stink on uh, the A skunk. Doo doo. Yeah. Say, well, again, Cam Colley, he's just that, he's a competitor. He is competing in these routes against Ja'Kai Hayward, and he's starting to win those consistently, Spike. Another great pass defense by number seven, Cam Colley, who is rising up in this game right now. All right, the receiver in the slot did straight down the field. Now he'll go back in motion the other way. That evens out the four wides. Ooh, uh -oh, miss. Quarterback has forced to scramble out of there, gets to the outside, looks for a block, got that. Shoved out of bounds finally by uh, Landon Cruz around the 30-yard line. Gain of 15, it'll be a first and 10. Broken play. Liberty kind of broke themselves a little bit, kind of got out of their contain and run fits. <laughs> Right there, and a broken play for Michael Alon got him paid off and got him a 17-yard game. Yeah, Michael Alon is uh, is pretty beat up. He's he's waddling and bending over on his, his hands on his hips, and he's uh, he's taking a beating. I don't think that, I don't I don't think that Landon Bachman has taken a snap off, and he looks as fresh as he did in his first scrimmage. Tigers have their varsity up on that defensive line. Here we go. Back to throw, a run, the long fade, a Got sliding him. catch, it's a down big at catch. the one-yard line. Another big catch by wow. Ethan, Ethan Stokes. You know, Oak Harbor, again, is a 69% run team, but they've got the matchups, and they're winning them down the field. Good job by Ethan Stokes. From the one-yard line now, they'll look to punch it in. No, they're going to throw. They throw it high, and it's going to be incomplete. That was uncatchable. They were looking at, at a fade there again to Ethan Stokes. He's been their primary receiver in terms of their vertical and deep routes. Grady did a good job staying with him on that fade route. All right, the ball marked at the one-yard line. That'll bring up second down. Liberty Center bringing in the beef. On that defensive interior. Number 64, Noah Jensen. Great run stuffer. I love Noah Jensen. He's a five foot eight, 230 pound senior. Wildcat. And Ja'Kai, touchdown. Wow, Liberty hit him right at the uh, goal line, but he had enough squirt and swim <laughs> to bang his way in. So on the board now again is Oak Harbor, that makes it 31-13, and, and they're doing it in the air, outside of a broken play by Michael Lalonde, really throwing the football. That's where they're finding their most success, when they're finding it, but give Oak Harbor some credit, they're down 31-7, come back with a big touchdown. Here's the snap, kick on the way. Doesn't get a lot of elevation, but he puts it down the pipe. 31-14, Liberty still up by 17, but there's a lot of football to be played. This offensive line for Oak Harbor giving Michael Lalon just enough time to connect with their top outside threat, Ethan Stokes. You know, Spike, they get four seniors. All of them are three-year starters up front. That's a wow. veteran offensive line, and you know what? This is it. This is this is lose and go home, and you're starting to see Oak Harbor play with a desperation. That was a desperate drive and a really good answer for Oak Harbor and their coaching staff. I'll tell you, they've got a good program. Mike May's done a tremendous job over there, and we talked about in the pregame. For over 45 years, this program is winning at a 73% clip, so losing is not something they do a lot at Oak Harbor. Give them credit. <laughs> Big drive and a big touchdown for the oh, Rockets. Oh, yeah, two good programs, yes, sir. button heads, no doubt. Guys, this is uh, it's getting crazy, the number of viewers we have right now. We're over 5,000 times our wow. game has been loaded, folks. Man, oh, man, that's a big number right there. That's called Tiger Nation right yeah. there. Tuning in to watch Liberty Center football. All right, here's the approach. All right, here Short we go. Short end over end. That's going to be taken at the 16-yard line. Return looking for a hole. Nothing there. Got stymied and stopped inside the 30-yard line. Okay, that was a heck of a tackle. Great job by Travis Boyer. 5'11", 109-pound sophomore. That was a big-time play. Well, you talk a little bit about senior leadership. Trenton Cruz didn't like a block that somebody didn't make, and he went right over and said, hey, you got to get up here in this lane. you got to cover your lane. 
And yeah. uh, love the leadership. All right. So Liberty Center comes out now in the I formation. Wing left with Chambers. He'll motion this way. Give to the second back. Puts his head down. Grinds forward. Still pounding and picks up three tough yards. I love the yards after contact. Again, square on those shoulders. Waylon Rents runs for real tough yards inside. Second six spike. And the clock is running. Liberty Center loves this kind of offense here late in the third quarter. So important that Liberty Center runs some clock. Whether they score or not, whether they, but they need a couple of first downs. They need to keep, stay on the offensive side. All right. Amstutz under center. Give to the second back. Prances, Colt or Trenton pounds forward for about uh, four on the play. Third down is short coming up. I got real focused there. I thought maybe we run something inside. I wanted to see how we looked. Clayton Seal's been a little banged up, but he got to the climb to the second level, made a really nice block on a linebacker. Again, Liberty Center blocking is relentless. Great job. Steven Brogan comes out, keeping the bodies fresh. Seth Navarre in. I love the depth we've got, Spike. We stay fresh, you know, and the guys feel really good about their two reps. And they get a little blow and get back out there. All right, big play here. Third down and two from their own 38. Amstutz under center. Goes in motion. Now they're going there to go. go. Big play he now. Takes it outside. Pulls a great block. Be. He's at the open. He's at the 30. A man oh. takes him, grabs him. He'll drive down inside the 20 yard line. Tell you what, inside run, inside run, inside run, then boom. Off tackle for big yard. It's Trent Cruz. You know, once he got past that. That first level, he was just oh, gone, wasn't baby. he? He smelled it. Oh, he did. He went to the stink, and he ran right through it. Man, oh, man. 44 yards okay. down to the 17. My daughter just texted me and said, Dad, I just loaded the game. I'm 5,001. There you go. Great <laughs> job by the Liberty Center <laughs> offensive line. Left side, excellent blocking for that big run. Rents on the right, Trent on the left, motion. Play action. Oh, no, he does give it up inside. Oh, he faked me out. He now Amstutz uh, carried out the fake too well, and I lost the ball. Guys, if Liberty Center puts a touchdown up here late in the third, I'm not calling this ball game. But this, the, the, the start putting nails in coffins with a touchdown well, in this drive. Oh, right Carver's here. not built for these comebacks. They they haven't had to do it all year. And you talk about, you know, traditionally they're a run team, and they've had to go to the the air in order to get any points, both touchdowns coming on passes. The Liberty Center begin to wear in, we're starting to wear down the Oak Harbor defense right now. Trent behind the quarterback. Rents offset to the right. Play now action, wide play open. Action. He's got it, it wide, open. wide open. Yes, sir. Bingo. Liberty Center Tiger touchdown. I'm telling you, when you wow. pound and you pound and you pound, Oak Harbor has no choice but to start to fill that box, yes. Mike, and that's what happened. And number 20, who's come up big the last three weeks, Brooke Bainfeld was wide open. That's what a great running game will do for you. Excellent job. I Excellent believe, play yes, call. I believe that's his third grab of the night. Hold the block and then kick out. Did a hard cross route there for the TD. Now the kick on the way. And Rosebrook is perfect on the nine. Well, Liberty Center with a big answer right there, guys. That was huge. Oak Harbor felt a little momentum, but Liberty just put a stake right through their heart, 38-14. And I'll tell you, that is impressive. Our offensive line now is starting to impose their will. Yes. That's what's happening here. sustained drive. That was uh, 80 yards, I believe. I believe they got it around their own 20-yard yep, line. I think you're right, Spike. Hey, what, that is impressive wow. by our offensive line. And that I love the play calling. Breaker. I love the game call by Casey Muller tonight. Just a tremendous mix of run and pass play action. Excellent job, Liberty Center, executing at all levels right now. Hey, quick game update. Coldwater 42, Milan Edison 7. Well, Guys, yeah, I'm going to call that one. Yeah, it's yeah. over. Well, I, think I, I think I called that one early, Captain. You I think did. I, I think I smelled you that You were all early. over it. So I don't know. We're ready to start talking about next week. We got some game to play, but that Coldwater team, a little bit different than what we faced last year. I'll tell you that. They're a Patrick, much better football team. Patrick Henry 26, Hopewell Loudon 14, going late in the fourth quarter. PH with a big uh, game there. All right. Back to kick. Max, low line drive. Bounces at the 20. Picked up at the 10. Heads for the right sideline. Well, that was. We've got a flag on the play. Well, that's an odd place for a flag. Is that against the coverage team there, or is that a block that was made? Little, 
mix it up I and see what that looks like. Lot, but well, that, that came I from way that. out back. That was a, from the back. Oh, side. that's a, yep, that's a foul on, uh, he pointed to Oak Harbor, a clip or a block in the back. Maybe an illegal yeah. use of hands or something. I don't, he went down to his leg. I'll tell you what, these, this officiating crew's been on point tonight. Chop yep, block. Chop block. Yes, I just say he went down by his leg, so that's a big 15-yard penalty. That is not what Oak Harbor needs to start a very important drive here, Spike, late in the third, start themselves inside the 15-yard line. That's a tough break for them. Well, the one thing, though, it's going to be first and 10 rather than first and 25, I would imagine. Well, Liberty Center. Don't care. Yeah, Center, <laughs> not right now, the Liberty way they're Center playing. wants the long drive. They want to put Oak Harbor in a, in a box here, and they've done it to start this th late in the third, this drive. All right. Now they motion men. They what even it up. Two wides to either side. Long count. Quick drop. They'll throw underneath coverage. Hit oh, right away. Job. Right down oh, and yes, sir. Flung him to the ground. Colton Chambers. These defensive backs are really responding to those short passes, Spike. Right. They get right to the spot and get those receivers to the ground. Great, great tackle by Colton Chambers. Well, and the clock continues to run. That's yeah. the most the important big part they here. They can five yard their way down the field all night if they want. My, the Canadian connections. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, they moved. Procedure. Right. Move it back five yards, second and ten. So. Guys, do, does Oak Harbor look a little deflated? I, I mean, they really, I, I, I don't want to make fun of anybody, and I'm certainly not. They've played their hearts out. But they kind of look deflated. Uh, They're think, walking back to the huddle. I, I think what they've done here, Mark, is they've met their match. You know, <laughs> yeah. when you're a 12-0 football team, and you, you've you carved your schedule like a fine Thanksgiving Day turkey, and you've got to come up against this Liberty Center team, Spike. They ran into a buzzsaw here. Now, Jensen in the middle. They throw underneath, man, looking to get some oh, running nice room. Play. Forget Colt about Cruz. that, Peg. Pow, right behind in the backfield. Little little bubble screen there in Colton Cruz. You know, he he's hard to block in the open field, man. I mean, he just beat that block and got right to the point is of that, attack. Is that busting somebody's bubble? I don't know what that is. Yeah, <laughs> that was busting the bubble screen. Again, Liberty Center just well-schooled. Got guys all over that route. End of the third quarter, guys. Excellent job by Liberty Center. All right, the end of three, Liberty Center 38. The Oak Harbor Rockets 14, and let's hear from our sponsors. A huge thank you to our 2023-2024 Tiger Sport Life sponsors. KK Collision, Meyer Badenhoff Insurance, STN Design, Affinity IT Group, Three Chord, Davis Farm Services, Swanton Welding, Ham and Dick Leatherman, Pizzanello's Pizza, and Gerald Grain Centers. All right, we're back here, start of the fourth quarter. Once again, Liberty Center 38, the Oak Harbor Rockets 14. And, and I and oh, Scott, I, I mentioned and I want to make somebody already text me, oh, don't be like that with them. But I think that, as you said, they're not accustomed to being number one behind in, in, in the score. Number two is they have not been able to do what they've done to every other team and is their trademark, which is running the ball. Well, I'll tell you what, when you're a running football team and that's what you want to do, and you want to control the clock and limit the possessions of your opponent. And Liberty took that off the – they just took that off the table. Give Oak Harbor credit. They've hit on some big passes, but that's not yep. who they want to be here in that Liberty it, it is a final. Coldwater has beat Edison 42-7. to Here's Back a blitz. Right Raven Reds. Reds on the pass rush. Sacarino! Waylon Reds. Guys, I'm going to tell you what. Waylon Reds looks fresh. He attacked that blitz from about eight yards deep, <laughs> got to the quarterback like a shotgun. Big time sack by Waylon Rents and Liberty Center now starting to feel the opportunity to get back to the regional final. Great job by the defense. That's a big time defensive call spike by, yep. by Matt Bryan and the defensive staff. Uh-oh. Grabs it. Digs it out, punts it, now takes a great bounce. It took kind of an angle, and the Tigers had to let it go. I'm watching Casey Moeller. He wants those punts caught. He wants those punts And controlled. Thomas will have to go home. <laughs> I'm watching him. He's looking for number three. Yeah, he'll come here. Come here. All right, Liberty Center now. Spike 38-14 in complete control of this game. What a defensive stand 
after that touchdown. Waylon Rents, oh, big Liberty, time football Liberty play. Center in the second half. Yes, sir. Gave up that late touchdown, but then in the second half only gave up one more and at, and at the same time have scored multiple times themselves. Simply an a overload of talent, determination, and, and uh, execution. All right, motion this way. Free play. Offsides. Oh, no. Really? Yeah, offside. Oh, we're going to call offside. Yeah, I would have thought they would have let that yeah. play be free, but that was such an early offside they blew it dead. It's unusual. Pre-snap penalty. Yeah. <laughs> Casey would like nothing better here, Spike, than to run about six and a half minutes off the clock, maybe seven on this drive to finish this thing. Day what, landing Cruz. I won't start lobbying for offensive player of the game yet, but woo, man, oh man. Woo. Here comes the train. What a big night for number yep. eight. Stay, wow. uh, stay with us here. I know we got 11 minutes, but the KK Collision postgame show will follow the conclusion of this game. And the winner of this game will take on the Coldwater Cavaliers as they demolished the number one or number two team in our region, the Edison. Uh, what, what are they? The Edison Light Poles. Light Poles. I have no idea what that <laughs> is. Toledo Edison. Yeah. Pitcher on the right side. There you go. Hit at the line of scrimmage, picks up a couple, I believe. Guys, I want you to watch Landon Bachelman is down here about 24 yards. Yeah, putting wait. A, putting a block on a safety. <laughs> this game is 38-14, three quarters in the bag, and number 75 is still looking for blocks down the field. That is the heart of Liberty Center's running game right there. That's why we run for touchdowns because we got tackles blocking 24 yards down the field. And there was a great article in the Blade about him, and one of the things that really became evident is his leadership. That's leadership right there. All right, second down and one, motion this way. Give to the second back. Hit, pound right at their line of scrimmage. That may be enough for the first down. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, no. here we oh, go. If that would have been. Well, you know what? That's that's just frustration because and, they're getting beat. And we saw that last week here on started and, and, doing some extra things. Liberty did not respond. That'll fire Liberty up. Well, I, don't, I don't think that's what Oak Harbor really wants to do right now. Yeah, well, Gary Brooks, uh, I think, frustrated. Well, in light of what's happened this season, it's no wonder Liberty Center fans went uh, a little hot on that. Well. Anyway. All right, first and ten. Ball just over the uh, midfield stripe at the 48. Amstutz under center with a wing right set. I formation. Second back, left there you side. Go. There you go. forward. Driving, driving forward. Wailing Rents. it away. A seven, six yards on the carry. You know, I see on the bottom of that pile, I'm looking at number 71, Clayton yep. Seal. You know, he's been a little banged up on a few snaps, but he is continuing to block at a very high level at that center position. We talk so much about our guards and so much about Landon Bachelman, and so much about our tackles. But I'll tell you, number 71, Clayton Seals having a great night and had a, has had a great year, Spike. The conditioning yes. of these Liberty Center Tigers is outstanding. And you were saying that week two, the yes, conditioning. That's, right, you that's why <laughs> they are here right now, and they're still running with Tackleman, running crazy. Tackleman. Here's Rents. Give straight ahead to Trent. Trent oh, pounds yeah, forward. Run. Look at that run. Six yards on the carry. It's a Liberty Center Tiger first down. Yeah, yeah, it, oh, man. You see uh, large amounts of frustration from the Oak Harbor linemen. Well, They're just not used to this. And this is just it. What Liberty wants to do, I told you, get to the six-minute mark. Liberty Center right to plan here at 856. Casey taking his time, letting that play clock wind down. He's been a master play caller here. Casey's a defensive coordinator by heart but has become an, an outstanding offensive play caller. Landon Amstutz is looking at him, wave, come on, come on, come on. And he's like, no, he's got his hand down. up, and he's yes, like, sir, just calm down. All right, <laughs> I got seconds you. on the play clock. Zach Weaver in the lineup. Tigers now show motion. Give to the second Off back. Tackle. Left side coming through there, still pounding and driving. And twisting, spinning down to the 36. Yeah, that's another off-tackle play. And that time, Oak Harbor assisted with a hit from yeah. from the back of the pile. Gave, gave Whalen Rents a couple extra yards. But I love watching number 19 run the football. He runs it so hard. You know, and for his size, he runs so square, gets yeah. so low. Man, I love the way he drives his feet. Liberty Center's running game, outstanding. All right. Cruz comes out. Tigers stick with that tight wing T formation. Wing right set. 
Double tight end. Give on a little pitch to Cruz. Cruz, twist, hit, gets to the 30, and he's going to be stopped there after a short two yards. Now Casey's just fine with this. Yep. Clock continues to run. He's going to get this thing right at the seven-minute mark on the snap. Third and four. You might see Casey go for it. I'm not sure, but Liberty Center doing a great job running the clock. That's exactly what you want to do with a three-plus score lead this late in the game is just let that clock drain. Yeah, they're kind of putting a Liberty Center trademark stamp yes. on what this game is all about. They come with the same. Uh, now it's a wing left with Chambers over here. Twin setbacks under center. Second back. He's left got side. some room here. He's got now some room. Now kicks it outside. Now breaks one. Hit right there at the 20 through four. Well, and he was and not going to. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you. First down. Spike, I'm going to tell you what I saw right there. I saw Trent and Cruz starting to accelerate to the sidelines. Yep. And he said to himself, if I continue this acceleration explosion, ah. I'm going to be out of bounds. That's a great call. I'll guy. tell you yeah. what, that was a tremendous senior move. Look at that clock. Continues to run. Trent and Cruz could have picked up another nine yards. He'd rather have that clock run. Yes. Very good call, Buck. All right, Landon Cruz brings the play in. He'll spread out wide to the far side of the field. Other than that, Tigers in a tight wing tee set to the right. Tight end left. Give second back, left side. There Looking for running nice room, run. still going. Pounding inside the 15, down to the 14. That's going to come, uh, see, that'll bring it up down to about an eight-yard gain. Wow, what a block by Weaver downfield on the uh, quarterback number three. <laughs> There's a role player, number 40, Zach Weaver, who's had some big time snap spike. He may not be a guy that plays every down, but he is a fresh blocker. And yes. you know, if you're Oak Harbor, and you can see fresh blockers all day long, it's like almost like freshening the troops on the front, yeah, man. And, and, and the talent level does not drop. Yeah, you got it. That's a good call right there. The talent level does not drop. Now the Tigers come out. And now we've got uh, a little whistle. confusion there. All right, he'll take it. Two seconds. He, he got it all the way down to 548. This is a masterful, masterful How way to. How much time was on the clock when we got the ball? I don't know if it was, was it was it nine and a half? Nine, was it yeah, nine? nine and a half. Maybe. I thought maybe we'd get this thing at the, at the five-minute mark, and we're right there on the cusp. Liberty's just fine with this, with this last drive, and. I love the play calling. Inside run, off tackle, let these guys just block and drive. It's demoralizing when you're seeing fresh blockers, a number 19, who's just running really fresh leg. I mean, two and five. The yeah. Cruise boys have really dominated the ball, but number 19, number 24 are also getting some key contributions. This game was made some early passing from Landon Amstutz to Landon Cruz. I'm going to tell you right now, this was a tightly contested ball game spike. But Landon Cruz made some phenomenal plays that really loosened up that Oak Harbor run defense, and then Liberty started pounding in the tackles again. I can't, I cannot stress enough how important those early plays to Landon Cruz yeah. really helped our run game. And, and yeah, we needed to get off to a did. good start. We didn't have to score every possession, but we wanted to do things right. We didn't want to give away anything cheap. All right, wide out over here. Wing set left. Now play wide action open. throws. Has wide a man open. out there. Wide open. Caught wide the 12. open. Down to the 10, the 5, twisting, spinning. And they're making uh, I think they're going to get Bane felt for a block in the back. Yep. Sorry. Tell you what, that was, I'm tell you what, that was a great design. Another off tackle kind of play action, and Colton Cruz was wide oh, open. Oh, they're going to get him for a hold. No way. See, Mark, I'm going to tell you something right now. Was that. Uh, that was that was number twenty. Talent? That was number twenty. Oh, that was Brooks 20 Bainfeld. Bainfeld. Okay. I'm gonna tell you this crew has mm. been outstanding tonight. This is a great crew. They've made a lot of good calls tonight. They've made some non calls that I think were very important. I think that play is so wide open to the official that my guess would be that was probably a hold and no reason to really even come close to a hold. Still a first down. Yeah. From was it from the spot of yes. the foul? And okay. and Colton Cruz was so wide open. <laughs> because we've run the ball so well, Spike. Yes. Your, your pregame conversation about, you know, average yards per catch, these kids are wide open. Okay. Nice they go cut. Hard left, right. Now cuts nice it cut. back out. And surrounded and pounded down at the 10. Pickup of a couple. And that clock 
excruciatingly tick, keeps tick, on tick, 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 tick. You know tick, what, tick, Spike? Tick, tick. You that? you can pretty much give your name <laughs> to the clerk. To the clerk, yeah. Dewey, Dewey. Yeah. This is a perfect. I mean, you ever hear of a ten-minute offense? <laughs> you hear a two-minute offense of four. Liberty's in the ten-minute offense mode right yeah. now. All right, Trent to the left, Look at, and, to and the Amstutz right the just staring at the play clock. That's how it's done. Yep, Amstutz taking a long count. Hand off straight up the middle. Cruz, Cruz spins through one. He hit. ain't done. He ain't done and yet. And down, still pounding inside, down to the seven yard line. Yeah, I think they got to be careful here and not let Oak Carver's frustration get them to the point where great, they're great. Somebody's run. gonna get hurt. I tell you what, though. Yeah, how, how, do you, how can you stop too. Oak Harbor at this point? I mean, Trent Cruz is struggling for inches. This guy is fighting for inches, yes, man. It yes, is 38 to 14. Going. This game is over, and number five is struggling for inches. Love it. I just love it. Wow. <coughs> These guys yeah. don't play by a scoreboard. They're not looking at the scoreboard. <laughs> That's right. They're just yes. looking for well, yards and opportunities. You say they man. play to the end of the whistle. They also play to the clock goes to zero. I mean, it, this is this is phenomenal to watch these guys play. All right, Colton Cruz now with the lineup with Rents in the backfield. Colton on the right, Rents on the left, wing to the left set. Here's motion. They're going to give it to Rents off the right yes, side. Yes, sir. He's twisting. He's into the end zone. It's still another Liberty Center Tiger touchdown. Oh, my goodness. You just That keep, Tiger machine rolls on. You just keep handing the ball off to number wow. 19, wow. number 5, and number 2. Nothing special, man. That is just straight power football off tackle. Man, our offensive line has been dominating the second half. Waylon Rents, what a weapon. 14. Rosebrook on the field, lines it up, kicks it up, sends it forward, it's up, it splits the uprights. Good again! 45-14. Golly, what a great drive. Wow. It culminates in another touchdown. And as Mark has said a couple different times, a couple different ways, Man, Oak Harbor hasn't seen anything like this. And when it comes right down to it, guys, this is a 13-0 football team that wins the battle of the hitting every single week. Yeah, They win yes. the battle of the hitting. Well, and you know what? We talked a lot about Casey Moeller telling his team he's looking in the mirror. Hey, we're going to find out if we're a good team. Well, guess what? <laughs> They're pretty darn good. Well, yeah. I, Casey talked a lot about it, Mark. You're right about Oak Harbor looks a lot like us. They want to run the football. They want to get after you. They want to control possessions. Not tonight. Well, Liberty, Liberty Center and it, just And it will be a running clock us. now, won't it? I believe it so. It will. Yes, yeah. sir. The uh, coaching staff is leaving. They are leaving their posts in the press box to go enjoy a well-earned victory. Man, that was – Spike, that's as good of a second half oh. as you're going to see out of a football team. Liberty 21 Center. 21 to 7. They scored – of course, we came back with a field goal, but they had the momentum. They were getting the football. We shut them down, and uh, it's not been a game. Breaks through one, and finally, Rents yanks him and janks him and pangs him out of bounds. Tell you what, I like what Liberty Center is doing here at the end of this game. Great job by Blake Garber. They are playing hard until the end of this game to the final whistle. Well, and they are oh. not retaliating. No. They are handling it well, and you very know, manageable. And I'm going to yeah. tell you right now, and this is I want to make this statement. Some things happened early in the season in a particular game that people rush to judgment about some kids and how we play and what we teach. Liberty Center has done a great job of coaching these kids and making sure they're staying within themselves and not making bad decisions. That's on Casey Moeller and every one of that, those coaching those coaches on this coaching staff. Liberty keeping their composure and yes. really putting it to a good Oak Harbor team. <laughs> yep, they pound it and preach it. They talk in uh, intensity and integrity all the time. Give off the left side. And they'll dive forward for maybe their one of their biggest plays from scrimmage. Well, and, on the and I'm going to say this, and it is what it is. But Oak Harbor is taking every chance to hit late. They're they're frustrated. They're angry. I get it. But come on. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. 
All right, so Oak Harbor now with two minutes left. The clock certainly is running. And motion back. They'll give straight ahead, just looking to try to pound it. Now kicks it outside. Grabbed, and Trent Cruz on Kept him in bounds. solo tackle. The team leader in solo tackle. Great job by Noah Jensen just taking that center and blowing him back six yards and <laughs> disrupted that play. And Noah Jensen, a 5'8", 230-pound senior, you know, getting those reps and doing a great job on the inside. He's an outstanding zero technique over that center. All right, they line up now. First and ten. Kicked around the outside. Ooh, nice the job. Hit, hit right oh, there. Stuck. Down. That's the Cruz Coalition right there. Yeah. That was Landon Cruz and his brother <laughs> Trenton Cruz. That's two, two, what, half of the Cruz Coalition, right, as you call it. You don't want yeah. the other two to get involved. <laughs> Max no, Weaver yeah. now makes an appearance on the defensive side of the football. Oh, what a great game Trent by Trent out. Cruz. Trent Cruz, great game tonight. Give straight up the middle. They're going to go out in style. Oak Harbor is going to pound the football just because that's what they do. That was Max Walker on it. Give me give me a rep and get a tackle. And good job by Xander Zider had a big-time game tonight. Nope. I'll tell you what, Liberty's defense up front, defensive line, dominant tonight. Linebackers flew to the ball. Man, oh, man, what a great defensive effort against yeah. an outstanding, outstanding Oak Harbor football team, Spike. Oak Harbor, time enough for one more play. The Liberty Center Tiger fans are on their feet. Here's the snap. Give straight ahead, fullback power, and he'll go banging ahead for five yards. That'll move the chains. It's immaterial. The final seconds now are <laughs> ticking away. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 45 14, dominating second half. Man, that was impressive from Liberty Center. Up and down the lineup, every unit, his coaching staff, outstanding job. Casey Moeller, really well done this week. Hey, the, uh, the great white Canadians are now orange and black. Nice. All right. Perfect. The NAFTA group. Yeah, we got a lot of fans all over the country. We wish we had time. Just to, short uh, of six thousand. Six thousand. Fifty-seven forty-six. And here's the wow. best part about those, Mark, and you know this better than we do. Over the next couple days, the the, the archive downloads will go through the roof because people. No, they won't. This. No, they won't. Oh, that's right. You pulled it. We have those I per forgot. the request of the team. They're on no scout. That's right. So I promise. That's right. The, the minute. The football playoffs are over. Whatever we ever we end up, we'll turn them back on. But the coaching staff has asked me to put them on I no forgot. scout. I, so. I was excited to ah, announce okay. that, but you're Good right. Job. It is a no yes. scout situation. Just a phenomenal job by <laughs> again, Spike. I'm not sure what you saw here, but. You know, Oak Harbor came out ready to fight. They did a good job on those they, early possessions. Yes, we went blow for blow. We really for a did, long didn't time. we? Yeah. But uh, I just, I just feel like the key to this game was some of those big time pass plays from Amstutz to to Landon Cruz, and just, just loosened up Oak Harbor just enough to give yes. some of those creases for the run game, and then. Man, you give us an inch, and we will take a mile in the run game. You give us an inch, we will take <laughs> oh, a mile we, tonight. We had to Kind of like Spike on the microphone. Give him an inch or take, take a mile. mile <laughs> we had to have run for well over 300 yards. We Easy. probably threw for 200 yards. Yes. I would be surprised there's not 500 yards of total offense And against tonight. the team that gives up nothing. nothing. I mean, against the team. An Oak Harbor, and look at them. I mean, give them credit. They had a great year. They were 12 and 0. Came into this game. They'll finish at 12 and 1. I will say this about that Oak Harbor football team: they will be back. Oh yeah, that is a, team a lot of that young kids. Be, that yeah. that will be a football team that will be back in this region next year and be a factor. That's a big time program, Spike. But what? And there's Casey in this traditional spot saying, "Listen, we got work to do. Enjoy it tonight, but come tomorrow morning. It's all cold water." Yes. All business. And That's we, right. Didn't we meet them last year? We did. In the, in the regional semifinal. And, and, and probably we'll be at Lima Stadium again, and we'll put in for that, and we'll have that. Don't send me a million text messages, folks. <laughs> I promise you, I promise you, the minute I get the site information, I will put in for us, uh, you know, boom, boom, bomb, and over here calls me and says, hey, Cap. Get us in there, dude. Get us in there. Well, listen, we have learned when Boom Boom talks, 
We listen. Yeah. Pretty soon he's going to want a microphone. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he says. All right, well, we're going to let's hear from our sponsors real quick, and then we'll be back with the uh, KK Collision postgame show. It's Liberty Center moving on 45-14 over the Oak Harbor Rockets. Thank you to KK Collision, a leader in the auto repair industry that has been servicing Northwest Ohio's auto needs for over 27 years. Meyer Baden Pop Insurance. Since 1933, Northwest Ohio has been the home of the Meyer Baden Pop Agency. Second to None Designs, your home for custom screen, printing, and embroidery. Affinity IT Group. Cybersecurity managed services for your company's demanding computer needs. Three Chord, sign it, sew it, screen it, promote it. Davis Farm Services is a family owned agronomy business serving Northwest Ohio farmers for over 50 years. Swanson Welding, has been providing our customers with the highest quality services for their metal fabrication needs since 1956. Pam and Dick Leather. Pizzanello's Pizza. Great family restaurant serving up delicious pizza, subs, wings, salads, and a wide variety of appetizers right here in Liberty Center. Gerald Grain Centers. A farmer-owned cooperative with nine locations here in northwestern Ohio. The helmets down low. I'm sorry that. No, you're good. Keep going. Yep. Here it comes. Working their way up. They're savoring it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, the raising of the helmets in victory. Liberty Center at 13 and 0 moves on. All right, now captain take us home. All right, well, the KK Collision post game show here from the Clay Memorial Stadium. Like I said, the home of the Clay Eagles. Liberty Center victorious and we'll move on to play the Coldwater Cavaliers and like I said, don't send me 25 message million messages. Uh, you love those messages, Mark. Probably, you love them. Come on, man. Probably, if I had to say, it's going to be Lima. That's where we played them last Lima year. Senior, yep. Kind of right in the middle. Maybe Finley. Maybe Could Finley. be Donnell. Um, you know, we'll do that. But let's go ahead and start the KK Collision post game show. And uh, guys, we'll start out as the offensive uh, player of the game. And I'm going to start. I, I think you guys shouldn't even get a say here. Okay. It's right. it's Landon Cruz 100%. and his catches. Done. He caught everything. He okay. might even catch a cold on the way home. Okay. <laughs> but, okay. yeah, I, I think one of the things that Landon did is he really, they went, uh-oh, we got to worry about this also. He made some big catches, got them thinking, hey, this is the real deal. He made great catches over top of anybody, everybody, and just changed the course of the game. That's my two cents. Spike? I'll, I'll buy into that. I mean, there's a couple other players that did well. Amstutz was really smooth tonight. He had a terrific game. Of course, that goes in tandem with throwing to Landon. Well, but uh, Yeah, and I'm going to say one of the things with Landon Cruz, or Landon uh, Amstutz, I'm sorry, got to me Landon's, um, is he's a great game manager. He yeah. manages the game well. He's very intellectual, very football smart. We talked to Coach Moeller about that a lot. Yeah, he's, a, he's, a, he's a son of a coach. Yeah. And Paul Amstutz is a good football coach. Yep. So, uh, you know, uh, Scott, Scott offensively? Other... I don't know. I, this is pretty easy for me. Did Spike, did you did you have your vote? Yeah. Because I, 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 I know Landon I, was fine. Usually, usually yep. you get into a flourish. Oh, Guys, I like a couple others, but Landon's, yeah, Landon's I, number one. Look, first of all, you know, we'll, we'll get over the numbers when this thing, right when we're done picking the players of the game, we'll go over the numbers. But Land, Landon Cruz, five receptions for 199 yards wow. unofficially. Wow. And his buddy. Liberty Center doesn't pass. Uh, right. And his his quarterback, Landon Amstutz, 10 for 16 for 195. This game 
to me, swung on big plays in the passing game. And, yes, Landon Cruz was easily my player of the game, but I would suggest to you as well, those early play-action passes really loosened up that good Oak Harbor defense. Remember, guys, we came into this game talking about Oak Harbor gives up less than seven points a game. Liberty Center tonight, unofficially, went for 526 yards and 45, ah. 45 points. But yes. my, my pick, and a unanimous offensive player of the game, goes to Landon Cruz. Phenomenal night for number eight. Yep. All right. Now we'll switch over to the defensive side of the ball. And, Spike, who do you have? Well, I'm going to come down to saying it was a – possible tie i think uh, mr tackleman mr <laughs> Bockelman, just kind of led uh he led the, the defense everything was pinned around him and i think waylon rents had a great overall game in several categories he had a lot of solo tackles the 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 cruise missiles at linebacker i mean there were several uh, Bockelman, maybe rents those are my votes Go ahead, Mark. Um, you know, I want to throw Cam Colley's name out there. Cam Colley went pound for pound for probably the best athlete on the field for most of the night. And though he was effective, he really, I, I think the first couple series, he, he struggled a little bit. He, the, the kid made a couple good catches. But then I think Cam Colley really took it to heart and said, wait a minute. Uh uh-uh, uh, not on my watch. Yeah. So I'm I'm going to throw Cam Colley's name out I, there. I, I love that pick. I I thought about Cam Colley, but Bergstrom Barrett, our statistician, the man, just just handed me a number. I think that you two need to pay close attention to. Liberty Center did a great job tonight. We had multiple double digit tacklers, but Waylon Rents, unofficially, with 14 tackles tonight. Ooh. Many solos. Waylon yeah. Rents tonight racked up. A ton of tackles stopping that vaunted Oak Harbor running game. I would go, and I have a couple honorable mentions, but I do think Cam Colley, after giving up some of those early big passes to Ethan Stokes, Spike, you would agree, in the second half, Cam Colley locked him out. Yes. Locked him out. So Cam Colley was phenomenal. And our defensive line, led by Landon Tackleman (laughs) Bockelman, with the pressure he put on, you know, Michael Lalonde really stood tall tonight in the second half and we wanted to stop them when they had to score desperately. My vote, and I think this is a, is a good one for me, is Waylon Rents and his 14 tackles. Mark, you can make the call, but Waylon had a phenomenal night on defense. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to go with Waylon Rents. What I, do you I, think, Spiker? I, well, I had it either him or uh, yeah. Bucky. Yeah. So, yes, Waylon Rents gets my vote. Yeah. Big time tonight. And, and I also want to note, he played more on the – offensive side tonight he did then he has i think colton cruz was gimped up a little bit and i think he, the coaches made a great call and said hey colton just come to the sidelines and colton was his biggest waylon Rents' biggest cheerleader and, high-fiving him and everything and else just, yeah. just, just just to piggyback on what you said tonight waylon Rents unofficially 13 rushes for 91 yards and a couple wow. touchdowns waylon, yards of carry. waylon Rents huge Yes. Night for Liberty Center. All right, so Waylon Rents is our defensive player of the game tonight, the KK Collision Defensive Player of the Year. He gets to change my oil. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> now, listen, this this unit of the game, you can announce it. I want to go first. I've got a really counterculture Uh-oh. choice tonight. Uh-oh. But, but Uh-oh. You, uh, announce it, Mark. All right, we'll, well, we'll go to the unit of the game, and this is the, the group of guys that stood out amongst all the others that stood out. And Mr. Barrett's going to lead us into that. I just had a, just a couple things. First of all, Kyle Kern tonight, I ask, always ask Kyle. He has sponsored our post game, and he liked Trenton Cruz both on offense and defense, and he ain't wrong. Trenton Cruz was a beast you tonight. Know, he was yeah. a beast tonight, Well, guys. and we talk about how finite, you know, first of all, we're not experts at this, but how finite this really is, guys. There's, you know, we could list 25 guys. Yeah. You know, everybody. Uh, anybody that got in the game is good. Well, this might be a little – little bit counterculture to Spike because I know he uh-oh. likes to, to the pick the unit of the coalition. game and, and I like the Cruise Coalition and we've 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 really had a lot of these these units this year. Spike get this award. I think it's a, a great job. I think it's something you it really hits you in a special spot. You don't pick out individuals. You like to reward the unit. I'm going to tell you what. I know firsthand. I think Mark knows this as well. You go to practice. We all know this. These players are handed a phenomenal game plan. 
And when the game plan doesn't always get executed in a perfect way, the coaching staff has got to make adjustments. These guys have got to do things. They've got to stop players. They've got to, they've got to have answers on both sides of the ball. I think the unit of the game tonight was our coaching staff. And I'll tell you why. A couple quick reasons. First, we had – listen, Oak Harbor started to throw the ball effectively. They shut that down. They came into this game and said, we're not going to let Oak Harbor run the ball up and down the field. They shut Oak Harbor down effectively tonight in the rushing game. The staff, Matt Bryan, 25 attempts, 57 yards our defense gave up. This is a running football team, Spike. So my unit of the game is the coaching staff, top to bottom, guys in the booth, guys in the field. It may be not exactly what you wanted to hear, but I thought our coaching staff tonight was fantastic. That may be one of the worst pee popping picks I have ever heard. <laughs> no, I, I like that, but go, what do you think, Captain? Well, you know, we've talked about this, about the adjustments. And, yes. You know, I, I always say, and I, I will say this forever, and I'm going back to our state championship teams and the, the runner up team defense wins championships, but adjustments. In game. Yep. In game adjustments is really where the difference is made. And I think you're absolutely right. I, I think the Liberty Center coaching staff, and, and there's a lot of them. And, and, you know, one of the cool things that Casey tells us, and I really love our Wednesdays with them. I, we're going to, even after football season's over, he's just going to come in and talk to us on Wednesday have a cup of mornings. Coffee. Have a cup of coffee <laughs> and whatever. But he talks about how he, he trusts his staff. Right. And he lets them do what they do, and he, he's you know he's the overall manager of, of the of the corporation, but he lets his department managers do their thing, and he you know he 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 takes care of business that way. So I, I'm going to agree with you guys. I, I think that uh, you've got a lot of talented kids, you've got a lot of great football players, but we've got a program, and I think that starts with the coaches and with the senior leadership. So I think the unit of the game. It's going to be the Liberty Center coaching staff. So. Does the spike need to, does spike have Well, a- I, I, let me just, because it's about the kids, I thought the offensive line yes. did a tremendous Phenomenal. job keeping them out, setting the table for 500 yards of offense. The defensive line uh, made a lot of big plays. Of course, the they linebackers did. had a yep. lot. I like the offensive line tonight from a player standpoint. But from the coach's standpoint, being the uh, – interior decorators you might there say you i like go. it i will go with well can i i, I want to throw one other name out here I, 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 this won't be a unit of the game but i, I want to make sure that we talk about clayton seal phenomenal oh yeah was Great. buried Great. in the trees oak harbor was big up front ran that four-man line ran a oh, five-man line yeah good clayton call. seal just boy he put his hard hat on Got his lunchbox and went to work, baby. God, I talked to the Genoa coaching staff. Number 76, Caleb Wood, a 5'10", 300-pound senior, is a run stuffer. He is a difficult guy to block. He had had great success all year. Clayton Seal tonight just was phenomenal at center. He's been very good all year. And Clayton Seal played his heart out down there. He really did. So if Spike agrees, the, the, the unit of the game, if he agrees, goes to the Liberty Center coaching staff. Begrudgingly, because it's you, Buck. <laughs> yes, I'll do it. Yeah, buddy, we all got right, it. Yeah, I'll right, go with that. Great. I like it. All right, there you have it. So, the KK Collision uh, Offensive Player of the Game, Mr. Waylon Rents. No, oh, he's the No, I'm sorry, player. Landon Cruz, the Defensive Player, Waylon Rents. And the unit of the game today is going to go to the Liberty Center coaching staff with an honorable mention to the offensive line. Yes. And I tell you guys, it's hard. <laughs> we could pick anybody, <laughs> and nobody <laughs> could really Ever. argue the point. Yeah. Um, so we'll do that. So that is the KK Collision postgame show. Scott, I think you've got some final stats here. Now, before, want- before we let Spike Whitman take us out of here in this beautiful 45-14 to 14 victory over a really good undefeated now once defeated Oak Harbor Rocket team. The total yards tonight, Liberty Center unofficially, 526 yards, Spike. Wow. Oak Harbor did get 305 and had some effective parts of the passing game at Liberty, 526 to 305. Rushing totals, Liberty Center, 38 attempts for 300. 
hundred and thirty one yards. Nine yards. Oak that, Harbor, twenty five attempts for fifty seven. That yards. might be more yards than Oak Harbor gave up in its previous twelve games total. <laughs> well that, that <laughs> might it, be a, that it, might it, be a I number. believe that's true. That could be not, listen guys, Liberty Center rushed for more yards than Oak Harbor gained the entire yard. That's incredible. Yes. Passing tonight. Liberty Center ten for sixteen for one ninety five. Landon Amstutz was very, very good. And Oak Harbor did have some success. They were twenty one of thirty four for 248 yards, but that's not what they wanted to do when we got them out of that game, that run game, very early. Tackles, we said tonight, uh, big night, but uh, uh, Waylon Rents with 14 tackles and Trent Cruz with 10. Two outstanding jo- uh, job, well done by our defenders tonight. Liberty caused one turnover, Landon Cruz, five receptions for 199 yards. And finally, the rushing play, the rushers tonight, Colton Cruz, 10 attempts. For 122 yards, Trenton 15 for 118. There's your cruise connection right there. Landon, five receptions for 199. Colton, 10 for 122. And Trenton 15 for 118. If that's not wow. the Colton, if that is not the the, what, the Cruise, Cruise Coalition, yeah. man. Wow. Hey, wow. And Garrison got a tackle or two on special teams, too. That's was, a lot of production out of the Cruises. Great around. job by Liberty Center. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and get out of here so we can get home before midnight. But uh, a great win by Liberty Center, 45-15 and we'll, or 14. We'll move on to play the Coldwater Cavaliers. Um, regional final. We're in the regional final. So, Spiker. All right. Well, we'll make it simple. Tigers move on week 14 next week, and it's going to only get tougher. I think it's even going to get better. With that said, the final, 45-14, Liberty Center wins it. With that, everybody, it's good night and good Tiger sports.